Good morning. So I hope everybody got your reports, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have. Mm. Okay. So I hope uh, you have no any uh, difficulty in understanding what is a direct report and what is a report with analysis. Comprehensive report, uh, you know, direct report is after the assessment, wherever the system is identifying that you're suitable to go or at least you're adaptable to go. Those recommendations are given in the direct report. Okay, from there, you cannot take all of them. You'll have to pick out at least one. So that if you're taking up that as a career, what you need to be getting educated with to make your eligible. Okay, so that is why for that, you will have to choose a comprehensive report. So which is a report with analysis, which can give you an education roadmap. An education Clear to all? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, yesterday you had a question about access code. What is access code? So when we are taking an assessment online from this tech platform, there are two parts of the tech platform. One is actually a landing page of the tech platform, which is like a web page where people can come and take assessment. So this web page can open with internet condition from a mobile or a tab or a laptop or a computer. So like you had come and taken your assessment, a student in school level or graduate level, anyone can take their respective assessment after completing the assessment. The responses given are captured as a data. This data is coded to a machine language because there is an AI which will process the report. Artificial intelligence in the tech platform will process the report by finding correlations between the dimensions which have been questioned to you. All right, it is actually coded. And the processing happens simultaneously. Once your assessment is completed, instantly the processing will happen. And it will generate a report and that report originally may not be in a readable language because it will continue to be in the coded language. We need to use an access code to decode it, to convert it to a readable language. Okay, this is the process. And this readable language is converted after using an access code. You have seen that window, right? You, in order to make this, uh, uh, you know, a model of profession, you need not be charging your candidates to take the assessment. What is this? You would not be applying charges to take the assessment, but to process the report and activate the report, you need to actually have a charge collected because this access code involves a cost price. When someone comes to Edu Milestone's website and takes the assessment, in order to process and activate their report, the access code cost price is 1,500 rupees plus GST. It is a lab report, correct? It's like a lab report and there's a cost price of 1,500 plus GST for it. And we don't deliver counseling to people after the report is given to them because the report might have different recommendations. You might be wondering on what basis this report is given and how these recommendations are actually given. I can see there are many careers which are recommended. Which one should I choose? Okay, many contemplations can come to you as a candidate. You need to be supported by somebody to help you interpret the report. That is called as a counseling process. Now, in this one week learning, you're going to understand that counseling process. <coughs> Using a psychometric report after the assessment, how are you interpreting your recommendations and providing counseling? Okay, so you will only apply charges for giving them a report after activation and also interpreting the counseling services. Okay, for the in, uh, report to be activated, you don't need to pay 1500 because in case you take a techn technology platform in your own brand name, the cost of access code comes to you at a concessional price. If you buy 10 or 20 access codes, the cost of each access code will be 600 rupees plus GST, which works to 700 rupees. Over and above whatever you charge is your margin. That means it comes with a cost price. And these access codes 
in your platform will be available for you as a prepaid access course. So provisionally, when you take a tech platform, like Neeraj has taken a platform, Ganesh has taken a platform, in your platform already there will be about 10 access codes, which comes as a cost of your platform. Not only giving you a technical infrastructure, inside which loading the access code comes along with the package. So 7,000 worth rupees access codes are already loaded in your platform. If you're going to use those access codes against every individual assessments, you can activate 10 different psychometric assessments. Okay, but you need yeah. to collect that payment. You collect from them 700 rupees or 1000 or 1500 or even 2000 is your cost because you're going to justify the value. Once you have exhausted these 10, you're good to reorder. And while reordering, Please have in mind that you need to have a projection. How many counseling you will do in a week, in a month, in a, in, in a quarter or in an half early or in an year. Based on this, when you have a projection of how much you can consume, you can buy it in bulk and have it with you. These are non-expirable access codes. Okay. Which can yeah. be used lifetime. And you cannot buy these access codes in the market, no retailing available, because this will be coded or configured in your own technology platform brand name. So this is what is the story about access code. I hope everybody is clear. If you have any question, you can ask me on the access code. And no, ma'am. Okay. Neeraj, I think you asked this, right, yesterday? I hope you're clear. Yes, I was clear what is access code. And uh, thanks for the clearing, clearing it up right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The only problem was that I was, uh, I was submitting the um, questionnaire of mine and it was asking for the access code. So I didn't Correct. understand what was happening. Correct. That is the same access code for every candidate who is completing the assessment. Yes. The same type of screen will reflect. Yes, and 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 the payment you are saying the there is a payment access there, so uh, uh, if if we have some like uh, I was talking to uh, Fatima and she was saying that uh, we can buy uh, we can also get attached to the payment links through Correct. Google people you also. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can integrate your bank account directly With, to the tech platform. Yes, so you can and, have, and yeah, you can have the payment received from your clients offline to the tech platform can be via cash, check, or NEFT to your bank account directly or a GPay or a phone pay or Paytm. Hmm. And then pick up the access code from a folder and apply that and activate. And hmm. alternatively, there is an option tab Cooper. That one you can actually click and it can be integrated to your bank account. And once sure. the payment is processed with an e-commerce approach, mm -hmm. automatically the AI will sense the credit come to your bank account and it will pick one unused access code and automatically activate. Clear? Done. 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 So we are applying, you know, that doesn't come for the basic platform. There'll be a one-time fee of 2,500 plus GST to be paid for Insta Mojo. You know, there are several payment gateways, Razor Pay, Citrus, PayPal, right? Likewise, we are actually associated with uh, Insta Mojo. And if you are wanting that, you can also add it to your platform. Else, you are into some yes. edutech business, you already receive payments via a payment gateway. You can give the link, we can also integrate. Clear? Clear. Hmm. All right. Okay. So, did you all happen to see your report yesterday? Many yes. Yes. Going on in your yes. Mind? yes. Yes. How did and, it feel? Uh, Is it relevant yes. to what you had been doing and what you are thinking? Yes, I think my report is uh, uh, clearly indicates what I've been doing and how uh, it has shown that uh, the sales and marketing is somewhere around 60 to 70 percent of my inclination to work with. And I've been working with that. But uh, when it says 60 to 70 percent, that means uh, somewhere down the line, I was not satisfied with everything in there. And that was that was it. Why? That's why I'm here. That's why I'm, I'm ent entrepreneur right now, and uh, it is saying that I would be, uh, I would be good in 
corporate training and this is what i have dreamed of doing okay so your mind wise is to an extent hurt from your report yes and and also uh, i missed on two, two or three questions so i feel that the mathematical question was some, somehow twisted okay. because i left the questions that's so that's okay. how so it is we are is. not judging your skill and ability clear i understand that but the skill uh, and somehow, ability can be always developed yes but and uh, somehow you see is. when you see a report no so somehow uh, it it gives you uh, a notion that uh, where you need to work upon correct see i'll tell you what skill and ability the psychometric questions you would have observed that doesn't have any timer to respond but the skill and ability questions has time as in school education or college age educations one almost 10 year 10 months to 11 months of academic studies is decided in an exam for 2 and 1/2 hours correct yes so skill and abilities are to be pro, you know elevated on time based okay so that's why we have actually recommend people to give their inputs as whatever you think is fit for you Mm-hmm. should not be carried by others right you gave see you are an adult a mature yes. person so whatever you felt fits the right answer for you according to you you gave the responses correct mm. but in school children it is not like that the parents yes. direct them so an important input here is when you are addressing your target audience please do tell them give your own inputs not the inputs influenced by others yes and the holistic career counseling is going to be given with the report okay yes yes it's there okay that report is actually an output people demand about the accuracy of that report a report is an output after an input and process process is that you are going to learn now in this 5 days but the input is given by the candidate themselves they have to be justifyingly giving a right input about them let them like doing it then let them not like doing it they have to give their inference about what is asked to them nothing wrong in saying no there is no good or bad answers right or wrong answers they have to think well and give their responses that's what is essential am i clear yep okay now there are more things which will come now you were going to see that yesterday we covered about the personality did any one of you have an influence when this question was asked connected with personality oh yeah this question connects with this factor did anybody of you feel that this could be introvert this could be an extrovert likewise there was any kind of a, a thought which was trying to overtake your process <clears throat> no no not at all i was like just being myself when i took this assessment i was just going with the flow of how i normally do things so yeah right, there was a right uh, self assessment done by you before yesterday taking the assessment you claim that you were an introvert correct yes and you claim that you are a uh, you did not claim that you are not a thinker right or a feeler but did you know no, that you were a thinker no i actually knew that i was a thinker <laughs> correct that is what was making you not fit to the uh, uh, what do you call uh, uh, the hr environment which demands extrovert sensing feeling and judging or extrovert intuitive feeling and judging correct exactly no but even then uh, whatever i've been uh, doing before i mean uh, prior to getting into the entrepreneurship mm. <laughs> even those were actually not being reflected here that's the surprising thing correct that means you have been true to be giving your input you are true to yourself in giving your input all right yeah. wonderful i think namrata is here to take the assessment she was the one who was chasing me ma'am give me the link give me the link but everybody <laughs> else have taken <tempted. laughs> okay so i will actually start with today's session i'm sure in your sleep and all introvert extrovert all these would have popped up correct this pops into my head every now and then every day almost every day okay <laughs> so we'll have a quiz time now shall I'm i ask ready. 
Shall I I'm assign? Ready. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Shall I assign one by one you will do or a group you will do? Anything is fine. Huh? Okay, we'll begin with one, you know, one on one. So I'll begin with Yugendar. Everything is fine, no? So Yugendar will do the first one. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so one side of the Venn diagram, I've, uh, you know, shown the personality type. Extrovert, an outside in learner who wants to be among people and associate with many people. And then uh, sensing who is more factual and realistic. Then a thinker who is highly task-oriented, unemotional, and who is also highly organized. J with O refers to judging, clear? Being organized, structured, okay. planned, and program. So these okay. are the characteristics of a candidate who's come to you, standing in front of you. Okay. There are some listed careers on the right side. Okay. According to you, where all these four factors will match? In which career? It can be one or more than one. Yes, but you have to ensure that all the four factors have to match. Then only it is suitable. Okay, ma'am. So, uh, one second, ma'am. Okay. Rest of you, if you're not able to hold your mind was, please go to mute. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'll tell you two, one, two, two, ah. two, two. First one, I felt lawyer. And okay. the second is doctor. Lawyer? And doctor. Lawyer and doctor. That's all? Yes. I mean, I mean, we can select more than two? I told you whatever are fitting, you tell me. Okay, ma'am. Then in that case, lawyer and the second one is banker and mm. the doctor. Fourth one is financial officer mm. and uh, nurse. Nurse. Yes. So here are your right answers. Financial officer, banker, and lawyer are correct. Okay. But you missed the administrator. In every case, it's an administration. Bankers and financial officer does a financial administration. Lawyer does a legal administration. Yes, that, okay. But doctor, they are not extroverts. Okay. Right? Doctor doesn't do a group discussion. Okay. Doctor uses their mind at large. Okay. Agreed? So introvert is only one which is not compatible for doctor. Yes. But for nurse again, sensing and judging can comply, but introvert and feeling is essential. Okay. Khalid is actually a perfect ISTJ, but he is a nurse. He's not even adaptable feeling. Understood? Yes. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Instead of doctor and nurse, financial officer, I got an idea, but I thought that financial officer is not maybe an extrovert. That's what I thought. I thought. He is. Because banking and finance, banking, financial officer is from non banking. Yes, ma'am. Both are doing financial administration only. Correct? Yes. So if it's an administration, an association with many people is required, correct? Yes, yes, right, right. Good. Good one. Almost you were there by uh, 85%. Yeah. My only confusion is, ma'am, I, uh, I mean, my only confusion is that, I mean, so, uh, so based upon, we have, we have this Carl Jung perceptions regarding the eight personalities, right, ma'am? Okay. Correct. If if someone as a student, if someone comes to the picture, so mm -hmm. based upon these characters, we need to suggest the career. Correct. Okay. So first of all, how you can suggest? You have to know what they are. Okay. Okay. So you administer a test on them. From the test, we know what is dominant to them. Okay. And based on that is dominant in them, where it is dominantly required, we guide them there. Correct. Okay, ma'am. Got it, ma'am. It's not only with Carl Young, a correction. We are applying Carl Young and MBTI both. Okay. Carl Young is only eight types. Okay. Come ahead. MBTI is 16 types, which includes even the Carl Young's heart. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you just mentioned IFFG. ISF. Correct. <laughs> now I'd like to give this to Loon. An introvert, intuitive, thinking, and perceiving person. 
here yes refers to be spontaneous a part of perceiving nature an inside out learner who uses their mind at large derives energy by focusing and gets into their old own world of assumptions or imaginations new ideas whatever they come out with assumptions or new ideas they actually attach a logic to it very task oriented and also they are able to come out with variety of uh, results or variety of uh, or different different things and do multitask i don't know but um, i think for me uh, business management marketing okay. okay public relations okay investment analyst uh, i will go with this four this four all mm. right perfect so the answers are here your investment analyst is a perfect answer mm -hmm. but business management marketing uh -huh. public okay. relations requires an extrovert right Mm, yes. And altogether, public relation and marketing requires to be more feelers, isn't it? Mm hmm. So you understood why they are not here. Two factors mismatching. Understood. Mm hmm. So this includes forensic science, computer science, and actuarial science. Clear. Mm hmm. nothing wrong you've just started okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. these kind of quiz can actually give you a lot of seasoning okay i want this to be given to uh, ganesh i'm ready i know <laughs> your own personality <laughs> no, no this is not my personality You are ISTJ. No, no. no ISTP. Correct. But your adaptive no, attention as... perceiving. Correct. No, it actually came as INTP for me. But you were adaptable between sensing and intuiting, right? Um, to a minor extent. Correct. Okay. Then you were in the previous list. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. Uh, accountant. Okay. Research. Okay. And engineering. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Your answers include. Eighty percent right. That is seventy-five percent right. Accountant, research, and engineering. You uh, skipped data analyst. Yes, I was actually a little confused whether it would be an introversion or an extroversion. Data analyst is actually what introvert only. Yeah. Okay. Yes, good. You are actually clear. A small fine tuning is required. Okay, I'll give this for Neeraj. Exactly my category. I mean, my personality type. Huh, but not <laughs> judging. Yeah, yeah. You were rather oh, perceiving, yeah. right? More. Right. I, I mm. strongly remember you were a perceiving person. You are not a person who could be bound with uh, structures and are being organized. Yep. Cut your report. I saw this. <laughs> you were struggling in HR. I was resonating myself. You were struggling in HR because not only being an introvert, not being a judging person. Hmm. So this is mine. This is yeah, not. This is for you. This is activity this for is you. For me. This yeah, is not yeah. mine. This is for All me. All yours. All yours, Neeraj. Right. <laughs> 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 so i think uh, this person should be um, somewhere around um, the best uh, i feel is architecture okay 
Then, See, uh, the moment his daughter oh. is architecture, every father will be so very proud and find architecture, you will be finding flashes in your eyes. <laughs> this happens for me. <laughs> this happens right. for me. My daughter is right. an architect. <laughs> but INTJ, I think this would be an architecture. Correct, correct. Second is uh, hospitality. Okay. Uh, then it would be data analyst. Okay. And engineering. That's what I feel. <laughs> so, see, out the way, Ganesh is nodding his head. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look at this. Ganesh, you can do this or you can not right or left. That, that doesn't matter. But uh, two of my recommended are here. Correct. Research Engineering, architecture. architecture, research, whatever you said is right. But you said accountant. No, not you, an no, accountant. I never said accountant. Said, no. Sorry, sir. You said hospitality. Said hospitality. Hospitality. Yeah, hospitality. Hospitality, <laughs> For, hospitality is actually extrovert sensing, feeling and judging. Clear? Yes. Yes, I was nodding my head for hospitality. Actually, <laughs> once I said it, then I understood that I have gone wrong there, so I just skipped it very quickly. <laughs> See, very a sales guy, you know, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> and and I have to understand my. Uh, I think uh, uh, my uh, assessment also says that I uh, understand my mistakes very quickly and acknowledge them very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> So that is how it is. Very I think spontaneous in nature. That's that's a good one. Okay. Data right. analyst will not come here because data is not intuition. Yes, it is not intuition. Absolutely. Correct. If you say it is a data scientist, I agree with you. But it, data analyst will not come here. Data no. analyst will not come. Yes. Data analyst, the data analyst can be introvert, sensing, thinking, judging, or perceiving. Yes. Okay. So I will give this to Namrita. Ma'am, actually Namrita messaged me in the... In the... He'll come back after 11 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. All right. So who would like to do this next? You can there again? Yes. Let's, let's give it to Khalid. Is he online? Khalid is not here. That's what I was wondering. He joined and he left. Okay. So this is actually, you know, ownership now is for Yugandar. Yes, ma'am. Extrovert. Uh, Intuitive thinking and judging. Okay. Okay. Extrovert. Thinking and judging. Okay. <clears throat> One is uh, <clears throat> entrepreneur, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneur. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Politician. Okay. okay. That's all. One second. One second. Yes, business management. That's all. Yeah, that means okay. One minute. Engineering. Engineering, ma'am. Which no. engineering is actually extrovert? No. <laughs> yeah, they have, I mean, you haven't mentioned exactly, so I consider it as engineering. engineering. Engineers have to be introvert dominant. But if they are extrovert, they have to be at least adaptable to introvert. Clear? Yes. Well, like mechanical engineers, they do the field work and everything. It could be any branch of engineering. That engineering science is fed in their brain. Every time they are developing a new product or designing a new product or working with any troubleshooting, that engineering science has to be elevated out. Clear? In that case, only three ma'am. Business management, uh, politician, and uh, entrepreneur. But where did when did business management come? Originally, you told only entrepreneur and politician. When did business management come? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't right know. after politician, he said business management. Okay, possibly I did not hear. Then those three are perfectly right answers. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, now this is Loon's turn. Uh, extrovert, sensing, feeling, and judging. Correct. Extrovert, sensing, feeling. Uh, 
right there. Okay. Uh, wait. <laughs> I'm still confused with this. Ah, uh, please help me out. I cannot Hi. make a choice. Right. So, writer. Okay. Other than writer. Other who else than writer. Uh, I, I don't know. Nobody should uh, open your mouth. It's only okay. between me and. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. Nobody should open. <laughs> then I will start calling every one of you loon. Okay. <laughs> I know it is irresistible. <laughs> Correct, na, Ganesh? Very much. Waiting. <laughs> loon, Loon, you can do it. Loon, can I give you one uh, strategy here to approach? Yes, please. Since you wanted and support, right? Okay. Uh -huh. now, uh, apply the rule of elimination. Okay. What is the rule of elimination? When you actually know to eliminate what is not suitable, mm. automatically mm -hmm. suitable ones will get filtered. Correct? Mm. Now, to begin with, this will fasten up. Okay? Mm -hmm. Start annotating now. Now, an engineer should be an intro. Take the first factor alone. Extrovert. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Should an engineer be introvert or extrovert? Introvert. So, therefore, this is striking off. Mm. Not being an introvert, completely engineering is taken off. Mm. Okay. Second mm. one is dental science. Those who is doing a dentistry, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So for dentistry, should they be introvert or extrovert? Mm. I cannot quite make a choice between the two. Right. If there is a tooth decay or any problem with the tooth or the anatomy of the tooth, Mm -hmm. Do you mean to say it is a scientific or it is actually a social study? It's, uh, I think it should be scientific. So therefore, whenever science is applied, should it be introvert or extrovert? Uh, introvert. So dentistry is also removed? Mm -hmm. So to be a writer, they can be extroverts or introverts, both, correct? Mm. So according to you, you gave writer. Mm. Check mark, writing. Mm. To become an interior designer, should they be introverts or extroverts? Mm. As a designer, they can be extrovert or introvert. But interior designer is one-on-one. -on -one. Every individual house, the look and feel has to be, you know, improved according to the individual client's need, right? One-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. So this is also removed, understood, for not being an introvert. Understood? Oh, yes. And not only oh. that, a uh, designer has to be intuitive. Mm -hmm. A designer has to be intuitive, but this person is sensing. Mm. Second factor is also not compliant. Agree? Mm. Okay. Now come to hospitality. What is hospitality? Hotel management. Correct? Mm. Should they be introvert or extrovert? They should be extrovert, I think. Very good. A software engineer should be introvert or extrovert? While writing uh, a program? Mostly an introvert uh, to me. Okay, perfect. So that's also striking off. A pilot should be introvert or extrovert? Mm, I have no idea. Where does a pilot sit? Do they sit with the passengers or in a separate cabin? Separate cabin. And they have to be observant about the air traffic mm -hmm. signals direction or mm -hmm. they should be talking to people and they're discussing with many people and taking the flight in the, their own direction. Mm -hmm. It's more focused, correct? Mm -hmm. So pilot is also removed. Now only two are retained, correct? Mm -hmm. For a person who is actually a writer, they can be writing about facts also, right? Mm -hmm. They can be writing about imaginations as well. So it is compatible. Mm. Mm. And now, hospitality also, is it actually a present activity? Hotel management is a present activity or it is actually something which is an assumption? Mm. Alive, correct? Mm. So it is only sensing. Mm -hmm. Now a writer, will they be feeler or thinker? I they think they be should feeler. be a feeler. Mm. Right? So writers include an author, 
creative writer as an author storyteller poem writer copywriter mm. editor and also a vlogger correct mm. so excepting copywriter remaining people are feelers right mm -hmm. so hospitality is it thinking or feeling feeling to me very good so now come a writer if it's a creative writer they have to be introvert it is not a creative writer in storytelling or uh, anything related to poem writing but if it is a vlogger they cannot be writing the same thing they have to be writing different different things correct mm -hmm. so for not being perceiving mm -hmm. writer is declined understood mm -hmm. but hospitality are they highly organized or are they actually just in time they are organized so the answer only answer is hospitality where all the four factors are compatible do you find that mm, thank you so much now you know how to do it yes a little bit <laughs> this was the help you wanted correct yes yes indeed so that you don't depend on anybody later mm. i hope subtly this has actually also supported others mm -hmm. it has supported <laughs> me well enough mm. ganesh neeraj yugender very much right yes yes full yes. of elimination there might be even one factor which is not suitable you need to eliminate it. that is that you know you can know exactly whether the candidate is fit for that career or not otherwise it is compromises clear yeah so the right answer from here it includes only hospitality mm hmm or esfj other than hospitality are you able to think out of any other careers any of you other than hospitality which other career do you think that it can fit i was also thinking about pilot pilot is actually a thinker not a feeler right. and they are not extroverts they are introverts hmm Up, to become a pilot they don't do business administration okay they started i mean i was actually thinking on the grounds where like they coordinate with i mean they talk to the atc they coordinate with uh, the ground control and all that uh, that is also so, one on one uh, from the atc there will be one guy who will actually be you know directing them not a group of people right so anything else anybody else are able to think over think out of the box not in this list mm -hmm. where esfj will be more suitable a social worker perfect public services even mm. hr mm -mm. hr pr <laughs> a teacher at school level junior teacher mm. yes yeah. junior secondary or middle school teachers who teaches children on um, uh, you know the curriculum educational curriculum not a science or a math teacher can be on the history or geography okay mm -hmm. all right this will be going for not for uh, ganesh i will give this to neeraj <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> okay so he is extrovert intuitive thinking okay. hmm this guy should be into marketing research see ha huh. marketing research correct <laughs> and uh, hospitality fashion designing mm. no hospitality, no no sorry fashion, fashion designing fashion, fashion designing i'll chalk down uh, it's it's digital marketing hospitality digital marketing and marketing research see but digital marketing and marketing research i can give you 10 on 10 but why will hospitality hotel management be not a be a perceiving person or a thinker and they are not intuitive it is esfj right 
it is will you continue to stay in a hotel who is not organized hmm or yes. there should be a relationship there right customer start the relationship satisfaction is required there isn't it yes mm -hmm. so dominantly required is not thinker feeler isn't it yes feeler see i have no big surprise when you said digital marketing and fashion design sorry or or, or the marketing research i was surprised to hear from you fashion designing fashion is not actually you know wrapping clothes around us we should feel good no yes it can be enfp or infp got it yes super see now with neeraj finding correct answer is not a problem he will invite everybody you also come and sit there is space correct neeraj you are so very generous <laughs> correct so generous you are okay so that's why you are here and you were thinking all along you are a sales person but you have been a marketing person that's what your personality says <laughs> yes okay no other go i have to go with only ganesh <laughs> <laughs> is applying the rule of elimination <laughs> pilot ha huh, pilot yes just now i told you pilot is actually a sensing guy and a thinking guy also right right There right right, right and right. pilot cannot be feeling he is the be introvert is compatible for a pilot here intuitive feeling and perceiving is not at all matching pilots cannot be no Ah, they go by remote sensing, boss. Absolutely. Introvert. Graphic design. Psychology. Correct. <laughs> Psychology is correct. You are supposed to be INFP, but you are an INTP. You know that? Yes. <laughs> Psychology and other than psychology. <clears throat> Graphic designer. Perfectly right. Before you do other mistakes, I'll stop you. Graphic designer, <laughs> psychology, and a creative writer. Okay. <laughs> and others from the list will be. So I think uh, this exercise is helping you to do a lot of cleansing, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. it's almost like a whole class now <laughs> <laughs> okay after this you want a group activity or a one on one which helps let us do it it's huh? okay it's okay for what group it's both is okay think, uh, it, what is going on is is uh, uh, group and individual all together so i think this is good okay which way you choose Let's, let's go with one group activity yes yeah, i yeah. think uh, looking at this one uh, every one of us should uh, uh, come up with one right uh, contribute contribute yes, yes one yes. each one each i hmm. think that would be good here yeah. oh yeah the head loads oh yeah no need to be seen another thing so ganesh <laughs> you will go ahead I think it's the same thing. Oh, this is a different thing. Or, oh, all right, <laughs> ISFJ. I mean, I did not notice it. That's the reason. Yeah. Okay. Mine so, is national defense. Yogendra says national defense. Okay. No, but I mean, like, uh, um, national defense is wrong. Hey. Okay. Uh, so, Radha, can you put nurse here? Yes. I think from my side it is nurse. You can also put engineering if I'm not wrong. How you? Which engineer is feeler, mm. ma? Feeling. Okay. Right, right, right. Keeps talking to the machine. 
Nurse yeah. is there. Emotional Nurse coordinator. Is there. Uh, Nurse is there, correct. I think. Too. Counselor. Counselor. Counselor is perfectly a right answer, isn't there? Counselor, yes. So, nurse, counselor, any more? You know what? Sensing, feeling, judgment. A banker would not be a fit here because. It Yo, has I to was be like, a... I thought, like, you know, if it was others who had said this as a banker. I had to travel. I thought, Ganesh, I'm also in Chennai. I can immediately in two hours take my bike and come and meet you to take me to the banker who is a feeler also. <laughs> I was about to say the banker would not be fitting in here. <laughs> <laughs> Very prudent, no? Neeraj, he is? <laughs> That's what even I was like about to say and you interrupted me <laughs> in this. I will come like... and meet you in just in one or two hours time to help me take <laughs> to the banker. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we have got nurse and we have got counselor. So we hmm. need one more here. So nurse comes from the field of health science, right? Yes, health science. Health science in paramedical, it will come. Okay. Nurse, social service, health science, therapist and counselor. Okay. Because the therapist is a physiotherapist, I refer to. Okay. No, no, but therapist was not here, so we were not thinking out of the box. That's it is right. KBC going on right here. <laughs> Making you people think out of the box. No, uh, but we are we are so prone to uh, play KBC, no? So no, if that, that option is, is not there, we'll not come never possible, with Radha. I will always drive you mad to keep thinking out of the box. Okay. Right, right, right. Uh, right. Initially, I was thinking about counselor, but then uh, I thought a counselor should Before be an extra way. Before you say this guy, Yugendar told it off, no? We will put him behind the bus. Yugendar, why did you say <laughs> before Noon could say? Huh? No, I mean, I mean, I thought a counselor should be an extra way. Uh, counselor can be extrovert or introvert. But a psychological counselor can be introvert also. Uh -huh. Okay, Yugendar, you had a question, please. Yes, yes. Ma'am, health science. So, ah. health mm -hmm. science. So, the one thing is feelings, right? So, uh, how come it possible? Health yes, boss, why can not be boss? What I'm saying is if it's a doctor who is into conservative medicines, uh -huh. naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha, audiology, all these people are ISFJ, na? Mm, yes, and I, I think, Yugendar, one, one thing is more there. Doctors, uh, maximum of the doctors uh, work on field felt on dry kind of thing. They have to be empathetic with their uh, patient, understand how the patient is feeling right now because the symptoms uh, is all doctors about feelings. Doctors are thinkers. As a physician or a surgeon yes. in general medicine, they are thinkers. They're thinkers. They are thinkers. Okay. In conservative medicine, they are feelers. Clear? Feelers. Conservative medicine. No. What kind of, I mean, what exactly conservative medicine exactly? Boss, I just now told, no. You have homeopathy. You homeopathy, have humanity, naturopathy. Humanity, uh, which is non-invasive uh, method. Okay. okay. Non-invasive methods, homeopathy or audiology who works right. with the speech therapy. Uh, okay, ma'am. Got it, got it. Mm -hmm. uh, can I ask something? Sure. Uh, a nurse is someone who always uh, often interact with other people. So how do Why we... Why is she interacting with others? People? To take care of them, which is feeling. Not mm -hmm. to learn from them. Clear, learn? Uh -huh. So an introvert, extrovert is uh, the source of knowledge. We consider the source of knowledge when we talk about exactly. introvert. And yes, introvert, is, introvert is like why nurse is there. It, they, will, they will sense the patient. They will talk about the patient's feeling. And they'll think from their brain. And then they'll apply it. And it mm -hmm. is a one-on-one -on -one interaction, not a group nursing. Yes, it is. It mm -hmm. is one-on-one -on -one interaction. Moreover, they they are not influenced by uh, outside feelings or uh, sensing. They they apply their brain what what is best for the uh, patient. Because they are tra trained medically. Absolutely. The medical science is being trained to them, and they retrieve their in knowledge from inside their mind. Okay. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Nurse is an introvert. Okay. Now getting clearer, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay. See, I gave the answer. Too bad. <laughs> no, we'll think out of the box here. Uh, where is it? Okay, you give me some more uh, for ESTP. Extrovert. Sensing. Thinking, perceiving. Thinking. So, entrepreneur, marketing strategist, and salesperson. Will come. 
Can you tell me one more which will match ESTP? Only one more. Not from the list. Out of the box. Entrepreneur, marketing strategist, sales manager, and it should be... One more. Real estate. Yes, yes. It can be a corporate trainer. Sorry? Corporate trainer. Corporate trainers are not thinkers. They are feelers. Real estate. Or they are intuitive or sensing. That's all. Ma'am, as uh, Ganesh said, it's a real estate and uh, stock market brokers. Stock market brokers, yes, I will agree. What about real estate brokers? Even Haan, I think even they are all you know coming into the marketing and sales. Yes, so I was. Okay, I was now I am not going in there. No, I, I was refraining from, refraining from uh, uh, the uh, sales, sales part of it. Give you one guy who is from the media and communication, the reporters, journalists. They can also fall here. Clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. I also have another. Um, yeah. Landscapers. Landscapers are actually on a mathematical count. The dimensions, the surveyors, they are not extroverts. They are introverts. They go by sensing. They don't go by intuition. They are thinkers and there is a proper measurement for them. They are not spontaneous. Okay. The Jigbandis are very important, Ganesh. Mm, yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I got um, that wrong. All right. <laughs> Nothing wrong. You are actually clarifying. Now it's getting de decluttered, right? You speak yeah. out, it gets decluttered. Right. Otherwise, you will be hanging mm -hmm. into that perception only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually have one more answer for this then. Mm. Okay, this is the next one, is it? Yeah. Okay. Civil engineering campaign code. Engineering will not apply here. Mm, very good. Yeah. And human resources feeling Banker also, also goes off here. Who? Banker. Huh, banker is there? No, no, it's off. I think huh, so. There you Banker goes <laughs> off here. Absolutely, no, no. Human resources. ENFJ would be feel your judgment. It's too much. Public relations will come here. Yes, okay. sir. Public relations. Marketing. Okay. A writer. A writer, a creative writer will have to be more introvert, right? Yes, it's an extrovert. Or even right. if it is a vlogger, they have to be showing their variety by perceiving, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. National defense. National, National. defense. If the national defense, if there is a border security force person, okay, seeing an enemy encroaching, if he feels he can, for the enemy, then the enemy will not feel for him. He will shoot him. Clear? And also he cannot be intuitive. I mean, he has to... They can be extrovert or introvert, sensing or intuiting, judging or perceiving. They have to be thinkers. Thinking okay. and judging. What about human resources? Correct. Correct. HR, PR, marketing. Yes. Right. Marketing. But you know what? Most of the disqualifiers you're able to spot. That's a great achievement. <laughs> the rule of elimination is going on. Correct. Exactly. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> that's the main learning of today. That is the approach. Yes. I introvert engineering, medical, banker, introverts. And FJ feeling no feeling. Counselor. Bang on, bang on, Lou. Bang, bang on. on, counselor. Writer? No. Writer. Very good. Excellent, Namrita. You are back. The next will be her turn. <laughs> So, counselor and writer, before you tell me anything else, and I, me coming you all the way and meeting mm. you, 
I will give the final answer. A design teacher will come. An academic teacher for a common subject, regular subject will be ISFJ or ESFJ. Sensing mm -hmm. they need to be. If it's a design teacher alone, they are in due to. And social service, particularly community, uh, sorry, the social reforms can also come here. Oh. The momentum is increasing, no? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Doing hospitality, entrepreneur, psychology, Something healing, spontaneous. Psychology. Great. Marketing strategist. Why will they be introvert, ma? No, 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 no introvert. Sorry. In, not introvert. Mm -hmm. Contency, private accountancy. Dietitian. Correct. Brilliant. And also community health workers. Okay. Yes. ENFP. Extrovert, intuitive, feeling, perceiving. Um, public advertising. No, no, no. Advertising. Ah, correct. Advertising and public relations. Yes. Even a mentor and a coach can come here. Yes, Who mentor and a coach will come here. Okay. B S F B S. Photographer. Wow. Wow, June. Financial manager. Financial manager. No. She is from Pune, no? Now? Mumbai. Mumbai. She's in Mumbai. Join with me. We'll go to Namrata and meet that finance manager and get money and come. I Maybe will be there. And you'll come with me, Neeraj? <laughs> yes, I will be there. I want I want uh, one crore. How much is, is it not correct? <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 my speaker. Okay. Speaker is there. Correct. Uh, strong that is a mammoth. <laughs> The moment you call a finance related people a feeler, I will just. No, but one day you tell me that there, if there is a, someone is accountant, it will be, you know, uh, introvert. But a financial manager, you know, jo, yeah, it was who is to the management level. So that point, you know, hit me. Okay. ISTP, 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 mechanical engineering. He is mugging ISTP. <laughs> ISP is me, mechanical engineering. That's correct. Absolutely. Geologist. Not all roles of mechanical engineer. Only a maintenance guy will be into ISTP. Okay. If geologist. Ah, uh, sorry. Geologist I, I, is correct. Yes, biologist. Biologist is also correct. And yes. If you take biologist, geologist, mechanical engineering, they are all there. See, if you take an engineer, engineer uh -huh. required to be introvert and thinking. Yes. They can be sensing or intuiting, judging or perceiving. ISTJ will be good for a production engineer or a material management engineer. INTJ will be good for a quality control engineer. Quality control. INTP will be good for a design engineer. ISTP for a maintenance engineer. So, based is the profile in one career path or one career field, you can find more. Personality types can be attached. Clear? But there won't be compromise between introvert and extrovert with extrovert. Clear? Right. Be introvert and thinking down. Understand this science. Right. Did you all know we discussed 16 examples? Did you feel that? Yep. Yes. We yes. have covered all the 16. Correct. So more practice helps you. To begin with, it was like one rocket science. Correct, na, Loon? Mm -hmm. Yes, and it is. And how many correct answers each of you gave? The second day, right? After knowing this subject. Yeah. Continue practicing. And if you want to know whether whatever you're practicing is right or not, put that in the WhatsApp group. Yesterday, I actually assigned nobody did it. You have an option to actually getting decluttered. Okay. Uh -huh. After this, you have any query about personality as an activity, put it in the group. I'll clarify you there. Mm. The live session will go with the next dimension from now on. Mm -hmm. 
right okay yep so what's the time now 11:34 is it too yeah, early 30. for a break because um, oh uh, i hope you all have your notes with you for all this in uh, personality yep i actually didn't take notes because i i i was trying to rely on the videos recorded session right you still can rely on the recordings which has been shared to you but <laughs> please make your own notes yes yes uh, so that we'll you better can it. rejuvenate your learnings mhm mm okay and i'll tell you what now in some time when i start the next topic finish interest this mm. personality would have gone eroded mhm mm it will be so very bombarding mm. okay shall i give you a feeler of it <laughs> yes please okay we'll get into the next yep let's go we will be using john holland model to understand the career interest of an individual okay riasek riasek how many of you are familiar with this riasek i'm not okay how about you gender you did some research right i have heard for the you first time here mbti most of you might have known about mbti yes ma'am i know about this mbti and uh, uh, this thing dmit little now this mbti what you know before and what you now know is there any difference or it is the same for me mbti is pretty much uh, i mean i'm learning more it's not mm. like same or different just that like mm. what i knew before i mean for me mbti is like very interesting and i actually like to keep updating myself on mbti every now and then i i do that every now and then by going through mbti's official website mm. i do that often but many areas which you did not know before now you know correct yes like yes. you know going into precision right types yeah i mean i was actually not previously i was not uh, very uh, proficient in terms of pinpointing like how we used to um, how we did today hmm. but now i am kind of like learning to know how to do that rather the approach is better correct yes correct those two you who you know about mbti before now you have learned an easier approach correct yes yes ma'am that's now true. it is actually uh, exciting you isn't it very and much it is exciting you you people then imagine like how much neeraj loon and rest of them would have actually you know felt totally new isn't it yes it is mm. it's so very uh, uh, experiential it is becoming to you learn okay now if personality is so interesting shouldn't the interest be more interest <laughs> quite less it interest into 2 interest into 2 or 10 we will see okay <laughs> now we will be right. we will be using john holland's model to do a career analysis based on career interest of an individual so what is interest interest is about enjoying to do something or liking to do something preferring to do something or desiring to do something correct right okay so we are going to work on it at work what kind of interest a person will be having more and when we are using john holland model john holland states that there are six types of interest factors not six types or six interest factors available in each and every one of us you and i are not exception to it hmm. we all of us possess these six interest factors in us definitely and through the assessment the scale of dominance tells us which is the highest interest how each of the interest factor is measured in a scale of 100 independent they are each interest or independent in its characteristics each of these interest when measured in a scale of 100 bases your response okay applied in three point scale please carefully observe in three point scale if you like doing something you say yes i like doing 
if you don't like doing something, you say, no, I don't like doing something. Both of them have to be respected for every individual. You reflect an yes or no, it clearly tells you you are interested or not. But as a human, we are not exposed to everything. There can be circumstances which we are unsure of. We may also respond not sure as a third degree of response. So when we are asking you questions, breaking down each interest factor, you are possible to respond, yes, I like doing this or no, I don't like doing this or I'm not sure whether I like or don't like doing this. This is actually in human behavior. Am I clear to everyone? Mm -hmm. Yes. Giving either of the response is not a mistake at all. Why are they not sure? Two important reasons can be a cause for not being sure. One is, whatever you are asking them, the medium of language you are using, if it is not compatible for them, they can't understand your question. Do you agree? Each of you are good in English. So the assessment, whichever the question asked, if you have understood the question, you are going to say, yes, I like it or I don't like it. But the English is not clear to you. When, when you have candidates from suburban or rural locations, Namrita was saying, can I actually uh, communicate in Hindi? I'm not that very fluent in English. Yes. If forcibly I apply a, you know, an assessment in English to her, she is going to reflect that question I have not understood, I am not sure. Of. Yes or no? That's not yes. a mistake of her. As an enabler, I will have to enable her assessment to be taken in Hindi. Because she is more comfortable in Hindi. She can understand what is asked to her and she can suitably give a reply as yes or no. One is that. Second reason is what? We are all adults. Here, there, we have got good amount of exposures. But still, we continue to remain saying not sure. Why? We are possible to have not come across that situation in our work experience. When we adults itself are claiming that, why will not the children be? If a child has not come across that work nature clearly, he, she would say that, yes, I like to do it, I, like, I don't like to do it, or I don't know about it, not sure. Clear? Yes. Means they are deeming a support there, not only to help them go and sit somewhere, in finding the place where they can go and sit. They are not able to open out. If I can better explain this, Think of that I'm going to visit each one of you. I'm coming to Mumbai. <laughs> I'm com coming to Hyderabad. I'm coming to Meerut. I'm coming to Manipur. You will be happy to receive me, I'm sure. Undoubtedly. If, Gopi, go, if Ganesh says, no, I will definitely visit him in the second half. <laughs> Let him carefully say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, when I come also, because we are in a very proximal distance, okay. When I come also, what will happen? It will be exactly lunch around 2 o'clock. Yes. <laughs> you are a very hospitable person, okay. That's our Indian tradition and culture. Let you be a thinker, you are not a feeler, okay. In whichever case, somebody with some guest comes, we are very hospitable to them. First thing is, if it's a lunch hour, we ask them, would you like to have lunch? Are you hungry? Will you have some food? Right? Because you are going to have your food. Otherwise, Ganesh's plight is, I am going to have lunch. If she comes and sit, and she doesn't, if I don't ask her where she doesn't eat and she watches what I am having, I will get stomach ache. Correct? No, Ganesh? I never think like that. I would actually give oh. half of my plate. Ha, correct. See, <laughs> you, will, you are very empathetic. You will actually ask me, Radha, are you hungry? Right? That is the way you approach. Correct? Yeah. If I say yes, you will give me even your full plate, right? You're very generous. 
of course <laughs> okay and if i say no alternatively you will tell me let me know when you are hungry correct yeah if i say not sure yo why did she come now to trouble me she is also into confusion she is also making me confused <laughs> right this is a normal human response but since you told that you are very empathetic you try to understand my problem why am i saying not sure you will put a counter question why radha it is already 2:30 why aren't you still not hungry did you have a heavy breakfast or a late breakfast and imagine if i have said both <laughs> right you know what is the problem right <laughs> yeah and if i was to travel from uh, ganesh's place from there to my place taking a flight or it takes a longer journey and if i'm going to reach home very late until i say that i am turning hungry it would be a late meal for me for the day isn't it yep i can develop gastritis right i may not be able to get food when i don't get, when i'm actually hungry yeah or i'll have some junk food on the way correct which can spoil my appetite also right so these are all the counter effects correct so you will actually alert me why do you have some small bite of at least pulkas correct won't you of course okay. yes correct yep and you will try to actually see what i can actually accept since i have already had an heavy meal you may give me a you know a, a, a rasam rice or even a curd rice or bland food correct probably a sandwich for uh, this afternoon correct <laughs> so your still western culture is accepted not a south indian culture okay south indian people will spoil us giving rice right so <laughs> you have all those and you are actually trouble free right once you have once you consume that once i consume that so you are nudging towards closed ended options correct yep yesterday neeraj was saying it's one of the sales technique right for the closure similarly <laughs> towards the closure to bring them you nudge them giving them additional questions these are all something which has to be precisely before sitting for counseling which has to mm. be a part of your pre counseling activity clear right so what you will do is if a candidate comes to you before taking the assessment or after taking the assessment you need to speak them about the interest related responses in case they are not clear about the question they can flag it take a snapshot of it and discuss with you during your pre counseling or during counseling so that you know what is the reason for that not sure fact if it is a language you can offer them an assessment in a vernacular language because <coughs> <coughs> sorry the assessment is available online in seven indian vernacular languages which includes hindi gujarati and marathi north indian south indian tamil telugu kannada and malayalam clear yep so we are doing many things which can enhance the quality of the input of the candidate because our output report is based on the input understood all of you okay i have a small question here let me finish this then you can ask me i have some more yes. thing so now once a person is actually saying not sure in that case the interest is not developed interest is only clarified because after understanding that particular interest factor why it was not sure you know how it is applied in a work nature when you speak about the work nature and its importance the individual gets clarified after the clarification if they are still not interested that particular x percentage of the interest does not change if all the factors are you know agreeable as yes it can be 100% if it is not 100% it is 90% or 85% that 10 to 15% of gap can be a reflection of either no or not sure now our observation and analysis has to be 
if it is 85% and the remaining 15% has become no, this 85% does not change. It does not increase. Neither it does decrease. It doesn't deteriorate to 84, 80 or so. That 85 remains constant. If that 15% becomes not sure, which becomes an area of clarification, after clarification, if it is still no, that 85% does not change. But if it becomes yes, all of them becomes yes, this 85 can become 87, 90, 95 and even become 100. This is one of the important attributes about the interest possible to change. Am I clear? Yeah. Whenever an interest is not 100% in its scale, our analysis has to be whether the leaving the percentage which is yes, the remaining is no or not sure. After clarification, if it becomes no, that percentage does not increase. It is possible to go incremental provided that not sure factor becomes yes. I'll give you an example. I think yesterday I gave this example. In your, at your home, your children, from the childhood, you have been no to chocolates for them. You have habituated the child to have biscuits. And every time anybody asks the child, do you like biscuits? The child will say, yes, I like it. But when any other person visits you with a chocolate and gives this to the child, and the child has once flavored it, and you ask the question, do you like chocolates or biscuits? Now the child would say, I like chocolates. It doesn't mean that the biscuits flavor has actually degrown. The liking for chocolate has overtaken the biscuits. Same is possible for pastries and ice creams and biryanis and all of The current generation, they have at least two years or three years for biryanis. Correct? That means still they know, they don't know about whether they like it or not. The one which was pre-existing that can be, you know, still remaining good, but something else has overtaken. This a normal person will not know. You as a career expert only has to know. And you have got to know this now. And this way, when each of these interest factor is measured in a scale of 100, while you put them into descending order as per their score hierarchy, you consider the primary, secondary and tertiary interest as dominant interest factors. So that using those three interest factors only, you do a career mapping for them. The fourth, fifth and sixth interest become highly redundant. Are you clear? Yeah. Still, you may have a question. What if rather the fourth or the fifth or the sixth, if it comes and overtakes the one which is in the top three? Possible. That also you can easily inspect. How? Okay. Now I'll try attempting one um, simple, easy analogy. I think everybody can contribute. Yes, ma'am. Okay, when I'm visiting you people, I plan to visit each one of you. I'm coming to Hyderabad. I'm coming to everywhere, okay? I hope you will be happy to receive me. Will you be? Of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. when, you, when I come, if it's a mid-morning, now it's a mid-morning, right? It's not a lunch hour. Nobody will have food in this time, okay? But you will actually, as a guest relation, you will offer me something to have, correct? Yes. Usually yeah. if it's a mid-morning and in a summer, then you offer something cool to drink, correct? Yes. A fresh juice or any kind of a bottle drink. And if it is anything in the winter, you would offer something hot to drink, correct? Yes. At times you also have, give me an option of choosing. What would you like to have? Anything hot, coffee, yes. tea? Tea or coffee. Anything. Tea or coffee or anything, uh, right? Hot water with lemon or something like that. Uh, right. You will give something which is hot to drink. So when I have a preference to choose what I want, when I come and visit you, 
can i actually bank you to give me a good indian tea can i uh, can you repeat the question ma'am i was asking if i am given a choice okay can i opt asking for you people for a good indian tea yes no can no. i not I, i i like to have a good indian tea will you give me uh, uh yes <laughs> for sure why because we have options right you you will give me an indian tea right hmm. now comes the challenge in order to prepare an indian tea name me some six ingredients you will use apart from stow utensil and fire um, like uh, i mean alam ma'am i mean sorry what all will you use to prepare a good indian tea some six ingredients ingredients uh, what all you will add to prepare a good indian tea ginger 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 uh, okay cinnamon powder for cardamom okay cardamom Clove. Ma, are you giving me any kind of a kurma masala or a tea? No clove. No, what she is saying is actually really like masala tea. Masala tea. <laughs> in Mumbai, you'll actually have all these things. Okay, clove. Uh, you, okay, I'll take yes, it. Yes, clove okay. is clove is an ingredient of uh, masala tea. Yes, clove and uh, okay. bay leaf. Ah, uh, bay leaf. Okay, bay leaf and um, remember, you can give me only six. Ah, uh, uh, cinnamon powder. See, I told you she is preparing kurma, not Absolutely. tea. Absolutely, okay. that is good Tell for me. weight loss. When you use in Indian tea, it's good for your weight loss. Seriously. Arey baap. And jaggery, jaggery. All these you will mix and give me as a powder. No. No, my. I will boil it along with. I don't understand. Where is water, milk? Everything is gone off. <laughs> How? Ah, that is too hard. She is. I told you no. She is giving me a mixture, masala mixture powder. That's all. No, no, no. I'll give you. It's not giving me a tea. I, I want to come to Mumbai. I won't come to Mumbai. I'll come to other places. No others. <laughs> you come to Meerut. Ha, huh, I'll come to Meerut. What all will you add? Ma'am, I'll 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 add ginger, cardamom, sugar, huh. water, tea leaves, and tulsi leaves. Sugar, water, tea leaves. Thank you for using tea leaves and tulsi milk. leaves. No milk, milk. Where is milk? Milk, milk, milk. Okay. Ma'am, this because I wanted. Tea. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted an Indian tea, correct? Yes, this is an Indian tea. This is an Indian tea. Okay, now based on this list, uh, tell me if you are going to use, if you are allowed to use only any three hmm. amongst the six, which will be the top three? Water, tea, milk. Water, tea, water. Milk. Water, tea leaves, and milk. No, ma'am. Milk, milk, tea, sugar. And milk, milk, right? tea, sugar. Now, one thing I want to know, please wait, ma. One thing I want to know. Did I say anywhere I am diabetic? Did you decide I am diabetic? No, I didn't decide you. But uh, if you don't put tea leaves in tea, it would not be a tea. If you don't Absolutely. put water in tea, it no, would not be a tea. Why if can't you make you, can't you make a tea with only hmm. either milk or water? Yes, why the bowl with me? I can make a tea with milk or water. Correct. So one of no. them can be removed. Correct. Water can uh, be removed. only water can be removed. Correct, because I wanted an Indian tea, not a regional tea or a uh, black tea. Yes, correct? so you can remove water and put sugar here. Sugar, sugar is the primary ingredient. Correct. Yes. So you mean to say that with between sugar, sugar and tea and milk, right? Amongst this, which do you think is important to make a tea? Tea is important. Ah, huh. and tea and tea. sugar. Are not actually the primary ingredient. The primary ingredient is tea. Secondary yes. ingredient to make an Indian tea is milk. Milk and then sugar. Sugar. Now here, water, <laughs> ginger, and cardamom have become optional factors. Got it? We we will. Any we, case we like this order, can ginger and cardamom replace tea and milk? No, it should be this order which you are putting it up. Correct. at any But, cost even milk cannot be a primary ingredient because with milk you can add tea or coffee or bone vita or complan anything correct yes but when the demand is on tea indian tea then the the composition is actually between tea and milk while being tea as the primary ingredient and milk as the secondary ingredient understood yes it has to be that way understand this analogy every candidate who is approaching you in career guidance is wanting for the tea okay right 
that becomes the primary interest factor required for them understood rest of them are optional as per the assessment when a particular interest is actually staying dominant top of all the six that means they would like to attach themselves to the career field attached to that interest which is very high in that city see basically the primary interest decides the career field they would like to go the structure is like this field which is a cluster under one cluster there are different career paths under one career path there are different occupations the correlation between the primary and the secondary interest decides which career path the primary interest decides which career field the secondary interest and the primary interest its correlation tells which is the career path and the correlation between the primary secondary and the tertiary tells which occupation or job profile am i clear no. <laughs> that you can find it out whether they are adaptable to change or not adaptable to change clear is analogy better yes the least interest the fifth and the sixth position of interest to come to the top position it takes a longer time and and also it cannot overtake or dominate the one which is pre existing all in a sudden it requires a lot of clarity for them to get to the primary status clear yep yeah. keeping this analogy in mind i was just trying to help you out in understanding if somebody is going to keep on raising objection with you interest is going to change interest will change here in this case the st example has to come to your mind, immediate knowledge according to the child which is in the position of ginger and cardamom is that a matter you can find children saying today morning also two hand holdings i gave before 10:30 one guy he is doing his phd in atomic physics god knows why he took up the phd he is doing a regular now he is coming and asking can i take something else can i get into actuarial science then what is the purpose of doing is seven years of not four plus two plus two eight years of studies to waste right now he is saying where he can go after doing a phd in atomic physics he has to go to isro nasa or drdo or appear for a gate exam to go there he is saying only four or five vacancies are there when should i be actually decided this before taking this up is there a demand there and make himself you know getting into the meritorious area he is saying that i want to so whatever i did i wo chote i have to go but to something else then why is he doing his regular phd another candidate who is actually into sports demanding wanting to go into nda or be in sports where is realistic interest is in the rock water the council is confused how can i justify i told see look at it the interest is possible to change it can come to the primary or secondary the logics that's what you are going to learn now when is an interest adaptable to change when you find when it is not 100% if it is not 100% the remaining area becomes an area of inspection analysis where the questions responded no or not sure if not sure how it is applied in a career because each interest factor has its own characteristics those characteristics you can find largely required on the primary secondary or tertiary levels in every case that is what is the next point you are going to understand what is this r i a s e c each interest factor has its own characteristics in personality we identified four factors each factor having two variants two personality traits which is dominant with which you form 16 types yes or no yeah in interest out of six interest factors while well, you consider only three interest factors on the primary secondary and tertiary you know how many types you can form 720 combinations you can form 
Now you know why 3,000 occupations, 12,000 job profiles? Many more coming? Understood. <laughs> Please, um, would you repeat this? Uh, what I was saying is, in personality, mm -hmm. we were finding around eight, four factors and eight personality traits, correct? Mm -hmm. What was the permutation and combination collectively giving 16 types of personality, isn't it? Yes. yes. In interest, if there are six interest factors available in every individual, out of which anybody can have any three interests in their primary, secondary interest. Mm -hmm. Clear? Mm -hmm. So when you do that way, how many interest types you can configure it? Are you clear? 720 combinations. Oh. If you take an hemisphere, convention C, R and I, it can be C, R and I is one equation. R, I and C is another equation problem. Or I, R, C or C, I, R. This way, with any three combination, there can be totally 720 combinations possible. Mm -hmm. That's the reason you have more than 3,000 occupations and 12,000 plus job profiles. Clear? Yes. Okay. Interest is all about prioritization. If you learn to do that, finding of prioritization on interest, this will become a cakewalk. Okay. It's 12 6 now. Take a break and come back. Have good pranayama because there is going to be a bombarding area happening. 12 15, please reach out. All right. Now tell me which is interesting personality or interest? Both. Equally. Very much. <laughs> For me, because like I've act, I mean, since I've been working on this for a very long time, kind of, okay. it's like everything is interesting for me. I find everything interesting. Okay, very good. We'll just wait and watch, keep, keeping fingers crossed. Okay? Yep. Yep. Okay, 12.15, please come back. Okay? Sure. Thank you.
Ok, ok. इसकी फोटो जस्ट फोल्ड ऑन How much is that? Bring it. Done by. You can hear the whistle blows a hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles. You can hear the whistle blows.
I mean, can we continue? Yeah, please. Sure. Yes. All right. So, let me clear my board before I begin. Now, these six interest factors are denoted here by some, by some alphabets, correct? R I S E C, Riasek model. Okay. Now, what does this each alphabet stand for? R stands for realistic interest. People with realistic interest are called as doers. I stands for investigative, investigative. interest. People with investigative interest are called as thinkers. A stands for artistic, artistic. interest. People with artistic interest are called as creators. S yes stands for social interest. People with social interest are called as helpers. E stands for enterprising interest. People with enterprising interest are called as persuaders. C stands for conventional interest. People with conventional interest are called as organizers. Okay. Yep. So we're going to first and understand the characteristic of each of these interest factors. I'm sure when I've given you some annexures next to the every interest type, your mind is processing to understand and relate like what this can be. Okay. Let me give you more clear information about how to help yourselves understand each characteristic of interest and how you relate it to the work nature. First, I will explain all the six. Okay, to process and find correlation between them to put in the primary, secondary and tertiary. I'll come to it subsequently. Okay, yeah. till then you have any questions, kindly park your questions, write down your questions so that you don't forget to ask me and help me in finishing in total all the six. And while I'm explaining every single 
interest if you are not clear ask me details only relevant to what i had explained with reference to that interest okay how you are applying all that will be later so now while observing observe to understand what that particular interest portrays okay and i like to also share with you this session today might slightly stretch by another 15 minutes or half an hour i hope it okay for everyone yes it's yeah, yes. okay for me not okay for anyone it's okay for me okay okay yeah okay for me yeah right now let's begin with realistic interest we know that interest is all about enjoying to do something and also when we like doing something we find that it is directly proportional to learn more about that area of interest that means it is directly proportional to the skill and ability that can be acquired correct right now on the contrary if somebody is holding a skill but they don't have an interest if there are people who are going to misguide others you are holding skills you can develop the interest you need to actually see some there interest is directly proportional in acquiring skills but skill and ability is inversely proportional in acquiring interest interest cannot be acquired by external forces the innate mind has to actually tell yes i like doing it first of all when we say enjoying to do something what does realistic interest people like to do? they enjoy doing hands on practical activities now these hands on practical activities are literally physical task they enjoy doing physical task physical work now these physical tasks can be either indoor or outdoor when it is indoor you can see they work a lot with either tools or raw materials or objects or machineries you can find from young children to adults you can see they'll be doing some kind of a mechanical activity using tools raw materials objects or machineries either of them or all of them that means doing indoor related physical activities are very very high in them in such case where are we connecting anything related to mechanical manufacturing now this can be anything related to manufacturing of engineering goods it can be electrical electronics any kind of instrumentation okay wherever the engineering applies where there is a production involved and manufacturing involved you can see that realistic interest is very high not to be a surprise for a mechanical engineer who is into production or who is into ma uh, maintenance they first work with the tools or objects or machineries it can be a primary interest in such careers in manufacturing this manufacturing can include also food or garments okay or it can be into any kind of a movie production also wherever application of physical activities using tools raw materials objects or machineries you find people choosing those careers and working there they enjoy doing physical activities very highly such people will have realistic interest very high in them these are while being indoor now what about outdoor where is outdoor related physical activity very high physical task very high can we connect sports people who are choosing sports as a very high level career very important career they want to become a sports star they are possible in case you find their realistic interest is very high every sports people who could be an athlete who could be a team player right in all the careers you find realistic interest is very very high even possible to be in the primary interest another important career is public safety and security this career field cannot exist without realistic interest because it involves high level being outdoor 
when you say public safety and security you can include army navy defense which is even a primary interest for the soldiers border security force people or people who are into the law and order operations in public safety law enforcement services <laughs> in such career if they choose you can find definitely realistic interest is very high or you choose careers related to logistics and transportation heavy vehicle cargo move be it a commercial pilot be it a marine engineer as a merchant navy or a sailor right or a naval architect okay all these people you find they will have realistic interest very high because they are sorry they are also interested in doing physical work and also being outdoors correct next if you take travel and tourism even in such careers realistic interest is very high not only that if you take in the field of general medicine okay where there is a physical activity high because they handle human anatomy right a physician a surgeon realistic interest is very high in surgeon why haven't somebody stopped with mbbs and becoming a physician why would they want to become a surgeon why somebody is choosing dentistry i had a wisdom tooth which i wanted to extract because it was giving me a lot of trouble my mouth was like one nike symbol and i was experiencing heavy pain i went to the doctor and spoke at length after listening to me for 5 or 10 minutes the doctor told open your mouth they tested open the mouth they had a handy pincer and also a mirror with which they were trying to find out what is the problem they test and understand the problem correct dentistry optometry are all like this which cannot be you know by discussion understood correct yeah so there are certain areas in medical which involves a testing process for that if you can see any bioscience and research related areas lab in all these careers you can see that a kind of indoor or outdoor related physical activity is very very essential and critical so such people who choose these as their career or who wants to choose careers with high end physical activity because that is actually strong in them you can map them clear is realistic yep. clear yeah okay if realistic interest is clear let's move to the investigative interest which is the second high second interest type in this career interest people with high investigative interest they enjoy deep thinking they called as thinker they enjoy deep thinking to deep thinking they enjoy research Oh, your voice is inaudible. My voice is not audible. Now it's audible. Before, uh, I mean, I'm here. I'm here only. I didn't go anywhere. I'm still continuing in the same posture. Okay, all right. There could have been some internet lag in between. I'm sorry for that. That's okay. Okay. Now, people who have investigative interest, they enjoy deep thinking. Through deep thinking, they enjoy researching. through researching they enjoy analyze ultimately they enjoy deep thinking researching and analyzing and apply their high level intellect when an individual is applying their high level intellect and enjoying it you can see they involve into any kind of intellectual problem solving when we discuss about intellectual problem solving these are more connected with science or maths or technology either of them or all of them understood when there are few careers which are connected with science maths and technology all of them are selective of them which involves a deep thinking researching analyzing and applying intellectual problem solving through their research and analysis 
you can find their investigative interest is very high, even possible to be a primary interest. If you take a doctor, the primary interest of a doctor is investigative because the doctor looks at solving a problem of a patient with the medical science, right? It's again an intellectual problem solving. They think, they understand the symptoms from the patient, they think, they brainstorm, research, analyze, and then only they diagnose, correct? And give a solution which can be solving the problem. A lot of analytics involved to it, correct? You understand now that you can then, right? So they're all thinkers, right? So investigative interest is the primary interest for a doctor. Not only for a doctor, even for an architect. There's a difference between an architect and interior designer. I said that architects require mathematics because when an architect is designing a building, they first ask, where is your property? What's the dimension of your property? Based on the land area in square feet, they find if it's an urban limit, the development authority of the town, they allow an FSI of two times or 2.5 times with which the building structures can be calculated. So they first investigate, analyze, and then only come with new ideas of the building design, clear? They have to actually calculate also the feasibility. So they involve a high level investigative interest or for an architect, the primary interest is investigative. When I said research, you can include all the scientific researchers here. They can be in research design or research and development. Their primary interest is to identify what is the problem. So they want to derive the problem statement for which they will investigate. Here again, in investigative interest is very high because of intellectual problem solving connected with all science, math, and technology, correct? Then you take people who are into software, the software industry has a three major segmentation. Software as a service, where they do a lot of data research with reference to database administration. Using a data, how they can come out with a sol solving a problem, which is software as a service. Or if it's a product as a service, embedding software programs into an IC and integrating them into a hardware device so that it can be automated, which can be robotic process or using artificial intelligence. Third, infrastructure as a service, which can be into telecommunication and networking. In all these areas, if software is playing a vital role to automate it or to simplify it, they have to investigate the problem, certificate, problem statement of its application. So for, therefore, in the field of IT, let it be a program architect or a programmer and developer, ethical hacker, mobile app development, video game designing, blockchain, artificial intelligence, robotic process. All these people you find investigative interest is very high. They have to research, gearing up for a problem statement and solve them applying their high level intellect. Why for that matter, even a chartered accountant? The chartered accountant is bringing out a business financial research. So they audit and investigate whether every accounting information has been put under the right head. If not, they actually analyze and say that there is some error in the input as well as the business results are not ideal. For a chartered accountant also, investigative interest is the primary interest because they are high level intellectual problem solvers connected with max science and technology careers you find that investigative interest is rather dominant whatever the aforesaid careers you can find in those careers it is in primary interest because all the elements are there if you find only they are applied with selective elements 
it can be put to the second or the third interest priority also. For example, if you take a lawyer, lawyer also does an investigation analysis. <laughs> but for a lawyer, <coughs> primary interest is not investigative, but investigative interest is amongst their top three dominant interest. Even this is available in the secondary or tertiary portion in financial analyst or accountant, all right, even in data analyst. Investigative interest is about intellectual problem solving through deep thinking, researching, analyzing, and attaching a problem solving connected with either science, max, technology, all the three or selective of the three. It can be based on the intensity of the intellectual problem solving involved. It can take up the primary, secondary, or the tertiary position to make it suitable. Clear? Yeah. Now, yes, the third interest here is artistic interest. People with artistic interest are called as creators. Why? Artistic means it has to attract others. How can it attract others? If it is monotonously done, do you think it will be attracting others? We look for a difference, correct? People with artistic interests are called as creators because they work with high level creativity. Now this creativity can come after imagination also, or it can be making something which is physically available now in front of us without spoiling its work, disturbing its originality. It can also be made appeared in a different attractive form. Is photography one of the important reason there? Correct? So people, whenever they do things differently, you find artistic interest is very high. In order to bring this kind of creativity, they imagine. Through their imagination, they think out of the box. They apply a lot of lateral thinking. And they try to have, through that lateral thinking, a visualization of how it can be how it can be projected differently from the usual. These are all visualization. This is rich in people who are very creative interest holders. They will look for an attractive element to be projected. They'll be interested in doing, in building aesthetics to whatever they are doing so that it can attract others. It, anchor, it can anchor others towards them. Give a feel of something which is not monotonous and it is very different. Or sometimes it gives us a very bigger picture also. And this big picture is not real in front of us always. It gives us a visualization. How it can be differently viewed. When you have all these characteristics high in a person, and they hold artistic interest also very high. And this is richly required in what kind of careers? One career field is undoubted. What is that? Arts and language arts. It requires as a primary interest in this career field. If you take an arts and language arts, it can be fine arts, drawing and painting or a sculpting. In all of these, whatever I told, is it there highly there? It can come out of imagination in design arts. All the designers from the arts field, whom you include as fashion designing, interior designing, web designing, graphical designing, multimedia animation, game designing, accessory designing. In all these areas, are you surprised if they will have artistic interest as their primary interest? You don't need to be. If you take performing arts, an actor, a comedian, a stand-up comedian. Stand-up comedian doesn't do the same thing, right? You do many things, you know, different, different. So Ganesh, you would have seen uh, this guy by name uh, Alexander, correct? Very versatile he is, right? Shows a variety. 
Yep. Yep. Not doing uniform things or monotonous, same things, replication. And attracts the audience, isn't it? That attractive yep. element is very high in him. All the stand up comedians, irrespective of the languages. Okay, right. this is there in performing artists. It can be, you know, market actors, choreographers, dancers, people who are instrumentalists, vocal musicians, or even music composers. The seven notes of the swara, sa, re, ga, ma, pa, da, ni, which is fusioned in multiple combinations and given as an innovative music, correct? Whichever is attracting others, whichever is actually, you know, impressing others with its variety or versatility. In all these places also, you find artistic interest is very high. And when you take for careers related to language arts, an interpreter translated. When somebody is having a communication difficulty, having gone to another place of which language they don't belong to, <laughs> particularly you go to Japan or France or Germany, you need to have some interpreter and translator to help you out in understanding the common language. Interpreters, translators, they will try to explain you what is the communication, you know, in between required. They use different, different approaches, right? To help somebody understand it. It's not uniform. Next. These are all actually, you know, the careers which will have primary interest as arts. One career in the field of hospitality, travel and tourism is culinary arts. Okay, the primary interest of a person who is a chef in culinary arts is artistic. Giving users newer recipes or, you know, newer, newer dishes and presenting them very attractively, colorfully. All these are connected with the culinary arts person. So for a culinary arts person also, artistic interest is a primary interest. In rest of the careers, you can find that Artistic interest can be in the secondary or tertiary position based on the in intensity of the creativity involved in their work. If you take an You're not audible. If you, even now? now? Now you are audible, but in between your voice goes off. Oh, I'm so sorry for it. I don't know. My internet is also not fluctuating. I'm sitting next to the um, modem only. I think, I don't know, um, the, there, there must be something about the speaker um, while you, you're turning your head or something, it goes no, off. No, no, no. I'm actually, you know, directly on the monitor and speaking. Okay. Now, is it clear? Yeah, this is better. Okay. So, this artistic interest flooding with creativity need not be only reserved with artistic uh, arts and languages. The careers which can be connected with Creativity are especially marketing. Because you cannot approach the client because there is something called need to buy and ability to buy. If they don't have a willingness to buy, we'll have to think differently, right? With a lot of creativity. So what do we do to make them buy? The urgency to buy, it is actually done with a lot of creativity. People who are into marketing and advertising. They also hold artistic interest in them, but it is not the primary interest. It can be in the secondary or the tertiary interest based on the intensity of the creativity involved. You are a career coach, a counselor. You can apply as a mentor or a coach or a psychological counselor. But when you're doing a planning for an early age candidate, you also recommend them some careers and when they follow your guidelines, are you giving them a visualization of what they can take away? Yes or no? When you give a visualization there, it's not that, you know, they're sitting as an engineer. You give them an idea of how that visualization can be happening, correct? Right, yeah. So even as a career counselor, 
as a mentor or a coach or a psychological counselor, you are possible to be artistic in nature, but not as a primary interest, which is possible to be in the second or third level. Am I clear? But for an architect, as I said, the primary interest is investigator. After the problem statement is arrived only, an architect ideates new ideas. Then gets into the hands-on practical. Now, what will be the ideal priority for architects? Investigative, artistic and realistic. Investigative is the T. Artistic is the milk. And realistic is the sugar to make a complete composition for the particular career. Am I clear? Yeah. The same can be also compatible for a research designer who is into a new product design. A scientist who is into a robotic automation product. First, they derive a problem statement, the need for automation. Then how it can be done, they ideate. And then they get into the integration or the assembling of the product. Correct? Agreed? Yep. But when you call it for a web designer, their design element is very high. Attractive approach is very high. So in such case, artistic interest is more. Investigative is second highest because they are using technology as a medium for to express their creativity. Understood? What is more? Between tea and milk, what did I say? If you consider milk, then you can add coffee powder, milk, you know, bone vita, comp plan, anything. Correct? Hmm. Similarly, in case of web designer, artistic interest is the primary interest to, you know, satisfy their creativity in, at work. They are using technology as a medium. That's why investigative. After which, what they can do? They can do, you know, graphical designing using R. A two-dimensional drawing or a three-dimensional drawing, they can do that, correct? Yeah. So, our idea is to first independently understand what is the critical characteristic of every interest and then basis the work nature we are doing the interest profile so is artistic interest clear to all of you yep anyone unclear about the concept okay it's clear it's clear now where were you kali First you appeared, then you disappeared, then reappeared. Actually, uh, actually, unfortunately, my Wi-Fi is not working properly. That's why I just changed my location. I came wife or wife? Room. Your wife I don't or wife? I don't know. I will talk, talk with wife. the... Not Your wife, wife, not Wi-Fi. Okay. Yes, Khalid, the question was wife or Wi-Fi? Wi sorry, sorry. I, I couldn't understand. <laughs> actually, uh, telling about Did you wife. also hear him like that? I thought only I heard it like that. Oh, I, I heard he was saying my wife is not working properly. Oh, sorry, ah, yeah, <laughs> true. That's why I asked, is it wife or Wi-Fi? Exactly, but the meaning of wife, wife in the session. Okay. <laughs> so I will ask him about the Wi-Fi. And now I change the location. That's why. Okay, 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 okay. Chill, 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 chill. chill. Okay. okay. Maybe your wife is in India, correct? <laughs> no, I'm not married. <laughs> You're not yet married. Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky. Voice, that's that's why I'm doing whatever I want. Ganesh is mind voice against uh, Khalid, Loon, and also uh, Yugendar. Lucky you people. Uh, oh, even I'm in that group. Oh, you're also not married still. Huh? <laughs> exactly. Neeraj, I think you are the only person. I am I'm the only Bichara here. <laughs> Bichara. <laughs> But everyone want to go in the same situation, I think. Ah, yeah, yeah, I know, yes. wantedly getting right. punishment, right? Okay. Yes, yes. I, I would, I would, I would love to have you all there. In the, in this. <laughs> <laughs> you will and understand how it is. Tying your other, hands like this. Watch other, enjoy. You will get with other bechara. Huh. Yeah, absolutely. All okay. right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now we'll get into the next interest factor. Yeah. Social interest. 
people with social interest are called as helpers what do these people enjoy doing they enjoy helping others they want to be uh, raising for a support to others they would like to connect with others in order to help them support them provide services to them or be warm or caring at them or show the signs of empathy on them or sympathy on them or deal with their emotions so when they are finding enjoyment in doing all these they have to connect with others that's why they enjoy talking to others connecting with others clear yeah. when i say emotions emotions are mixed when you attempt to entertain someone or uh, 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 motivate someone or inspire someone okay in such cases also the social perceptibility is very high or when you find that you want to develop a team or a relationship with someone inter or intra what is inter and intra difference inter is requesting others can you do this for me can you do this favor for others receiving one way of support or you know offering a support what is intra where a barter system you give me this i will give you in turn that for that also a relationship is required a trust or is established why a feeling called trust is a feeling it's an emotion it's coming when they both there are two or more people connecting with each other so this should be high in people where all these are necessary in the work nature or if somebody is in pain this can be a physical or a mental pain we should actually go and offer a support and help to them right to help them come out of their pain we support them till then because till then they will feel very weak emotionally down we would like to you know chill them up and you know uh, more uh, empower them relate with them where in which careers these all these are high first is sociology in sociology as a career path can we have a human rights worker can we have a social welfare officer a community health worker or a social reformer in any of these job roles without connecting with people with an intention to offer help or support emotionally connect with them can they be able to evolve there which becomes the ultimate requirement of that field you might be wondering how people are working for the social welfare services you can see that their interest in helping others social interest is pretty pretty high not to be surprised it can be a primary interest that's why they are taking that as a work niche or dealing with people and understand their pain psychology let it be clinical or counseling psychology associating with the people who are into pain what's the difference between clinical and counseling psychology it's actually you know working with the cause and effect of the problem that they are experiencing or they are going to be experiencing <laughs> which comes first the cause or the effect it's like a chicken and egg but the clinical psychologist will be able to skim it separately and see when they approach a client they will be able to find out what is the root cause that they are suffering they'll be asking what's your suffering and they'll work on the suffering and they'll get lot of information from them they investigate and analyze what is the root cause the cause comes first there so that sorry the effect is first understood because the cause has actually taken him to the, them to that effect they may not be able to completely bail them out of that effect but they can actually be able to ease them from it they can reduce their suffering but may not be fully able to zero down because the damages can be very high also that's why counseling psychologists come and they advance forecast 
what could be the effect? If the effects are positive, how to multiply those effects? If the effects are negative, how to take a control over it now? This is done by all counseling psychologists could be into a child counseling, behavioral counseling, adolescent counseling, marriage counseling, relationship counseling, geriatric counseling. In all these cases, they would be able to, you know, see what can be the effect. And based on that, they will be actually showcased or give, you, give them a visualization also. But ultimately, they want to bring them away from their stress. It's a mental stress or an anxiety or a depression. Okay. So, irrespective of it, they connect with the individual <coughs> and support them. This holds good for even a mentor and a coach who is also doing a counseling. So, social interest is very high for these things. And which other careers? Anywhere where there is a service as a plant. Another important service domain is education. If you look at a school teacher, social interest is very high or even a primary interest. Giving literacy is itself a service. Why would one choose a person who is actually an engineer? Why would they like to come and take, you know, teaching as a profession? Because you see that they would like to actually be interested in. It is, they need not be introvert or extrovert. Somebody told, no, yesterday. Teacher has to be, you know, more extroverted. Not necessary. They can be introvert or extrovert. But they must be sensing academic teachers. Going by facts based on the curriculum. And they are more feelers. And they also have to be highly organized because education is a system. People who are not ISFJ or ESFJ, they struggle to continue as becoming a teacher. Moreover, their social interest is not high. You can find many people for the sake of job security, they come and actually come into the education, becoming a teacher, become teachers. Social interest has to be in their high level interest. For a school level teaching, social interest is highly important. But at a collegiate level, it has to be like a milk because they would be doing a lot of researching. They may also have investigated. But for them, social interest is very, very highly important. This is another career where social interest is a primary interest. Next is medical. Many times people attempted considering doctors as extroverts, right? How will they know and talk to the patients? Even for a nurse, there was actually a debate on it, correct? In the field of medical, nobody is extrovert. Then how do they connect with the patients? They connect with the patient to not learn from them in order to serve them, help them come out of their medical problem. If you take a doctor, as a physician in general medicine. Investigative interest is the primary interest, which is T. The secondary interest is social for a physician. And they get into the medical examination, which is realistic, which is the tertiary interest. Do they have anything to do with artistic creativity, visualization? Nothing. It becomes redundant like a ginger or a cardamom. The top three which requires tea, milk and sugar for a physician is investigative, social and realistic. If you take a surgeon, since physical, act <coughs> sorry, physical activity is high, they are possible to be investigative, realistic and social. A slight shift between the second and the third. I am not diabetic, but you know I am actually above 50. I don't want full sugar, I want half sugar. Or I don't want a very high level milk tea. Give me some, uh, you know, a very thin transparent tea, but add a little bit of milk. Give me even without sugar. 
I don't like with too much of milk content. These are all preferences, right? But being in the medical field, investigative interest is not compromised, correct? IRS is for a surgeon. But for a dentist, realistic, investigative, because they investigate after testing, correct? And again, they're also social, nothing artistic. Accepting one or two areas of orthodontics, artistic interest is not there. It's on the cosmetology side, correct? It is redundant. Realistic, investigative and social, what fits to the patient, correct? What is good for the patient? This is for a dentist, okay? But you know what? When you look at a nurse, Kali, social interest is very high because compared to a doctor, nurses have extraordinary patients. Their interest is very high in social. Connecting with patients, hearing to them, listening to them, addressing their problems. And that too, approaching them only on the medical background, investigative, and giving injections, dressing, helping them with a, you know, a soft bathing, or doing all kinds of palliative care. All these involves physical activity. So social, investigative, and realistic. Where will I put a physiotherapist? Which should be very high, social or investigative or realistic? Physiotherapist will be more realistic because they are enablers to mobilize the patients. Physical activity is more associated with their profile. They indulge in the activities of mobilizing the patients who are unable. For them, realistic, social and investigative. Clear? See, in the medical field only, how different occupations are constituting different interest priorities. Clear? So based on the intensity of the connecting with people, helping, providing services, or you know, dealing with their emotions, if all the factors of social interest, what I said, is available, it can be as a primary interest. Selective of them are there only, it can come to the secondary or tertiary. How we discussed that sports people have physical activity very high. Realistic interest is very high, isn't it? Then what will be the milk for them? Social interest. Because they have to entertain the audience. Without social perceptibility, perceptibility a sports person cannot evolve, correct? This requires realistic and social interest as primary and second. <coughs> but if you take people in public safety and security, the same is ulta, social and realistic. It's a service, correct? If you take people into artistic interest, we were speaking about arts and language arts. In design arts, only fashion designing or accessory designing requires artistic and social as tea and milk. The third one will be realistic. Even in case of an actor, where social perceptibility is high so that they are connecting with the audience, right, with their creativity. But artistic interest, uncompromising, they will be in the primary position. Even in business environment, connecting with multiple stakeholders are very, very critical, correct? Different functional areas. Because even in business, when you take marketing and sales, connecting with the customer is very important, correct? Going to the market and connecting with the customer is becoming very, very important. So social interest is also there in marketing and sales, but it is not in the primary industry. Clear? Yep. If social interest is clear to everybody, can I move to the next interest? It is enterprising interest. 
people with enterprising interest are called as persuaders what do they enjoy doing by persuading others they enjoy persuading others to get something done for their sake when do we persuade that means persuading refers us to push somebody to our favor correct if we call persuading or saying compelling it sounds slightly negative how can we interpret it positively influencing people with enterprising interest they enjoy influencing others why they place three critical objectives to their favor if there is a business objective or a business gain they enjoy influencing others correct this is one of the object the second objective is to lead others and when i say leadership it includes problem solving as well when can you lead somebody you should have bail somebody from a situational problem friends please understand it work at work there are two kinds of problem solving included one is intellectual problem solving another is situational problem solving intellectual problem solving doesn't involve relationship so for this an investigative interest is required but for leadership making others follow and associate with you and listen to whatever you say because leadership includes problem solving you would have solved their problem in some specific situation where they consider you as a leader and they follow you you will be able to power on them you will be able to thrive on them whatever you say you sit you stand they will be able to do it. they would meticulously follow you this is what is leadership and situational problem solving so they would have directly or indirectly influenced by solving a problem connected to your scenario where they think that they are finished i can't be coming out of it and <laughs> <laughs> the rescue well we call them as saviors you are my leader you are my savior correct for this when somebody is directly or indirectly influencing they hold a high level enterprising interest they do it voluntarily and there is a third part risk taking not anyone is ready to take a risk no one of us correct are you i will lo- i i will get lost there or this will happen to me correct these people influence others to take risk whenever a job role involves working for a business objective or business gain and for their favor and involve into a leadership and sort solving situational problems and also influencing to take risk while all these are available enterprising interest is high 100% what kind of careers it can be actually you know more matching business management do we agree that this business management any branches of business management business management is a whole umbrella as a cluster under which you have finance you have hr you have operations you have project marketing any area of management management information system the leader sitting in all these position cfo cxo ceo cho cto all these people work having the business objective first there'll be a team of people who are working in different functional areas but these people are actually you know said as a leader because certain times the individuals who are working operating the operation people they may not be able to resolve the problem directly the one who is sitting there he will give you solutions and also risk taking is very high they would attempt they can't work without taking risk then they can't grow business management marketing sales entrepreneurship in all these careers enterprising interest is the primary interest correct agree 
where else in media and communication media and communication can include print media or visual media or it can be you know international relationship in politics politicians or highly enterprising influencer or people who are into the public administration they have to influence make the public follow their construction you know their instructions correct it's an administration right so all these comes from media and communication mm. and these career fields cannot be without enterprising interest at all are rather required as a primary interest for a print media what is the business objective or business gain it's based on the number of circulations they have published what is then leadership how many circulations i have maximized compared to another print media and visual media i am showcasing from my channel so and so programs these programs are top rated trp what is trp television rating point how is this actually you know evaluated and announced the broadcasting ministry of our country has installed a device called barometer in the midst of every 5000 houses it keeps sensing which program is maximum watched which channel is maximum watched based on that they give a reporting to the media sources so through that time they can find that the prime time hours when maximum maximum visualizers are there visual viewers are there at that time they invite the business people to come and cast ad, you know advertisements they earn money some not sometimes many times these people have a high risk giving you know very uh, uh, hot news factual news can be a disaster to some set of society we have seen in movies correct risk taking is very high sometimes they hook up stories and they get red handed caught so all the three are there media and communication any role enterprising interest is highly required the social medias influences correct youtubing and other stuff the another important is banking and finance we take the bankers take or the finance company takes deposits from the public and suffers a very lowest rate of interest between 1 to 6% on a savings deposit if it's a term and time deposit it goes up to 8 or 9% for the senior citizens suffering that amount what do they do that money what has been taken as a deposit they lend it as a borrowing to others but there is a high risk factor the borrowing may not come down if it not comes how will they manage what if there is a risk every bank has to publish its audited balance balance sheet in which there is a value called car we have to see if you are going and putting some money in banks as term and time deposit we have to see whether that bank is performing well or is it actually this credit accessibility ratio is going down when the car goes less than 8% that means that financial institution is marching towards insolvency however our, according to our regulatory authority of banking rbi no banks can close it merges you would be wondering what is this yeah there is some problem why i have to go and uh, merge with <laughs> merge with another bank why are they actually continuing what made the background this is a problem there is a risk why the loans given have not come back if it's a housing loan if it's a, a property loan if it's an you know appliance loan or a vehicle loan even if the uh, borrower defaults it can be recovered as a product but the education loan or agricultural loan personal loan why their interest rate is very high towards the risk of not coming correct but they operate with a spread 
from the interest earned and the interest suffered, the in-between value is the spread. They operate with that and they also see profit. <laughs> it's a business, banking and finance. A lawyer, legal is a situational problem solving at large. Somebody is allegated. The lawyer is influencing the whole court and he capitalizes that, correct? The legal charges are, you know, exorbitant. Nobody should get into any kind of a litigation, going to the court, talking with the lawyers, for such a pain. But they do a high level influencing. They, how many ever people be in the court, they, they just don't hesitate. They actually, you know, very much influence it with their verdict, with their count of argument. So there's a business objective, there's a leadership, there's a situational problem solving, and including risk taking. If you take for a particular lawyer who is a civil lawyer, enterprising, investigative, and social are like tea, milk, and sugar. But you people consider hackers, a security architect in your company, cannot have a one software which can protect from malware and phishing attacks. There has to be newer programs. Why? Otherwise, your business secrets will be published. So a security architect, what should be the primary interest? Investigative. They have to understand the problem statement and about the configuration of their server. And their secondary interest is enterprise because there is a risk and also a business object. Nothing to do with you know, leadership. So it is pushed to the second position. And they keep iterating newer programs, so artistic, new ideas. If you take for a security architect, investigative, enterprising, and artistic. But if you take for a web designer, artistic, investigative, and enterprising also can be. Because for the market outreach. Okay. So that is enterprising interest. The primary interest is in all the aforesaid careers, enterprise. If you take as a counselor, you are also an influencer because the client whom you are going to counsel may have their own viewpoints and keep bent on arguing, I would like to go for that only. Here you have to persist them, influence them. And give your viewpoint why you are right. A counselor need to be also enterprise. See, I was speaking about clinical psychologist or counseling psychologist, both of them being social. But a clinical psychologist is more investigative. But a counseling psychologist is more influencing, enterprise. The tertiary interest can be artistic for both of them thinking on a futuristic angle or give them new ideas or a visualization. Okay. Based on the intensity of all the three elements available, they can be in the primary. Only two elements are available, they can come to the secondary. Any two. Or only one, it can be in the tertiary. They are there, but it is not very important. Others are more important, can also be pushed to the fourth or the fifth and sixth. Am I clear? Yeah. If this is clear, can I go to the next interest, final one? Yes. Conventional interest. Conventional means what? The historical approach, correct? Traditional approach. These people are called as organizers. First of all, what do they enjoy doing? They like to work with data, facts, and figures. Now, these data, what they use, can be a real-time data or a fussy data. It could be a structured data or unstructured data. 
if they are real time data and also structured data they will simply like to follow it because there is a system which is pre existing that means following a rule book they are highly organized they work very structurally or if it is an unstructured data or a fuzzy data they work in organizing it and form a system out of it these are the people who work with policies these policies may be pre existing the pre existing policies they will be using that and they will be managing things or if it is unstructured there it's a reformation and or a regulation carried out there, which is structuralizing things ultimately operating standard procedures rule book there speak about regulations what are compliances how everything can be worked in an organized structured planned programmed way no deviation <laughs> everything are highly detailed oriented even if it is a fuzzy data also those details will be there so that the person who is working with that will be able to work with that fuzzy nature and see how it can be you know made as a system so ultimately people who are interested in working with data facts and figures details working with structured mechanism or restructuring anything you find that <coughs> conventional interest is pretty high or possible to be as a primary interest in what kind of careers this is very high to be dominant in primary or secondary or tertiary if you take government department roles you have statutes there correct every way the statute is followed even if you take legal system a lawyer is more enterprising but a judiciary is more conventional clear for a lawyer enterprising interest is primary interest but for a judiciary the law of the constitution correct they will be able to see whether is it coming within that boundary or if there is any exceptions given they would also attach it to the regulations correct even people who work for civil administrative services any area of administration will definitely comply regulations so without conventional interest administrations cannot exist and then when you take careers related to accounting and finance accounts needs factual data finance needs fuzzy data so organizing restructuring everything is a part of accounting and finance so the field of accounting and finance cannot exist without investigative and conventional interest same in case of it also in it when it is coming as software as a service where it is data driven it can never be without conventional interest it becomes one of the important criteria in accounting and finance similarly in logistics and transportation everything has to be highly organized conventional approach is very very critical okay so all these are the careers which mandates conventional interest as one of the dominant interest to be amongst the top 3 interest priorities based on the intensity of the working with data facts and figures and being organized and structured interest is high it can take the primary secondary or tertiary position like in education a school teacher is social more the secondary interest is convention 
But in the same school, you take a librarian or a principal or a headmistress, they're into education administration. They are conventional and social. If you take people who are into marketing, sales, they are more enterprising and social. Where into business management, the business policies are very important. So in business management, management includes planning, organizing, monitoring, and control for the business. So enterprising and conventional becomes like a T and me. Mm, yes, no. Are you yes. trying to say something? I think loan is talking some uh, yeah. over there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is it much clear now? Yes. Now tell me which is more interesting? Interest or personality? Neeraj, now certain ties which were conflicts which were hitting your mind while you were doing personality. Now, do you find that they are getting untied now with interest? Yes, I think. Uh... Uh, now it it collaborates better because collaborates uh, better. sometimes uh, the personality traits uh, they they are also sometimes influenced by the situations but when we go to interest and marry it with the uh, personality traits i think uh, it gives a very clear picture mm. good so interest with interest how are you actually going to clarify I think that interest is more interesting now. If not, I will make it more interesting. Correct, Ganesh? Shall I? Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> now, I will give you an equation. A scenario after an assessment, somebody's, the results on the interest scorecard, the realistic interest is around some 33%. Mm -hmm. Investigative interest is around some 49%. Artistic interest is around 80-86. Social interest is around uh, 90. Enterprising interest is 100. Conventional interest is around 73. Now, if you are going to put them into the priorities, can you tell me which will become the primary interest? Enterprising. <laughs> Second highest. Um, then we have got social, 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 social. and then artistic. Okay. Uh, then you can find these are the tea, milk, and sugar. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Which then, includes into water, ginger, and cardamom. Conventional. Conventional is. Conventional investigative realistic. Okay, why is I and R low? Why is this 33%? That means the respondent has given 33% of the questions related to physical activities. Yes, I like to do it. The remaining 67% could have been no or not sure. Okay. Now with the difference between 33% of physical activity and 100% of influence, we'll have to pitch the gap. By any chance, can realistic interest replace enterprising interest? Will it happen all in a sudden? No. So can we assign it like a cardamom? Yes. The next uh, lowest is investigative. What's the gap here? Huge. 51%, correct. There again, a transformation is not very magically going to happen, correct? Yeah. So directly, can we eliminate careers related to realistic and investigative where it is required in primary level? Because these two interests are very low for the candidate. Which are the careers which mandates realistic and investigative to be on the top three? One is logistics and transportation. Second is sports. Third can be medical. Fourth can be manufacturing. Fifth can be bioscience. Sixth can be science and engineering. Six careers, can we have justification why they have to be eliminated directly? Because the T required for those career fields 
are in a very lower scale for the child. And you don't see that it is adaptable to change, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Right. Now, the battle is not with all the six. The battle is only with the top four. Hmm. Agreed? Yes. Yes. Now, the battle also particularly initially with I primary, secondary and tertiary. What is then the primary enterprising? Influencing for business objective, leadership and risk taking. Second is social, connecting with people. Third is being creative. So in a business environment, connecting with people, who will be creative? Hmm. Try asking question to yourself. Which kind of job profile demands a high level influencing for a business objective and leadership that connects with people, builds relationship, and also being creative. By connecting with people, they are also creative. Marketing. Brilliant. Loon. Yes. Did you understand how you were easily able to comprehend? I don't know. <laughs> Correct. While so many people used to keep on talking, the silent person who is always a spectator, no answer. Magical, correct? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so, this is not only for marketing and advertising. If I ask with Neeraj, he will give me some more. Neeraj, see, I am trusting you so much. I am sorry, I missed your question. So, that is how it is. Poach. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I think uh, because you see, um, I'm in an office, so something pops up. I know, up. It, something is distracting you, correct? Oh, there was a call. Okay. Now, I'm asking people in a business environment where there is a high level influencing involved, mm -hmm. connecting with people and also are creative. One example, right example, Loon gave, which is marketing and advertising. Can you think out of the box and give me some more? Marketing and advertising. You can, there is not there. Hmm. Other than marketing and advertising, where influencing is more, where connecting with people is more. Uh, it, can be a, it can be a trainer. Trainer? Yeah. Trainer has to be, you know, going by what is required to be trained, right? They mm -hmm. can be imaginative. Yes. But more than creativity, you require to be more conventional, correct? Mm, no, uh, I think I think it's some. I, I understand that, but uh, but it, it it trainer has to be nowadays. Trainer has to be more creative. Correct. That is because of that only their nature is required to be imaginative. So learning and yes. development can be ENFJ or ENFP. Or ENFJ yes. or ESFJ. But judging is required, no? Judging is required. Ah, then. So, Nana, I'll send you this. Well, I'll send you this. I'll put him into mute. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, more than Maybe artists, convention is required. He's talking to Beijing, I think so. Clear, Neeraj? Yes. Okay, but uh, who can be here? A person hey. who is a politician can be here. Or a yes. HR. HR also cannot be artistic. They have to follow the rules. I mean, you were talking about enterprising, enterprising and social. Social and artistic. Okay. Okay, here a politician can come. Good politicians who lived once upon a time, not the people who are now. Who's thinking <laughs> about <laughs> Yes. Uh, you, okay. you got it right now. So that's right. that's the differentiation we were talking about. Yeah. Secondly, it can be an anchor. <laughs> yes, it can be an anchor. <laughs> or a VJ or an RJ. Correct? Yes. Yes. They're all more influences, even a YouTuber. Correct? Yes. Understood. Some, some yeah. close difference. 
I'll change the scenario slightly. Let us make it more interesting. Someone's interest, realistic interest is 97%. Investigative interest is 90. Artistic interest is 39%. Social interest is 82. Enterprising interest is 67. Conventional interest is 82. Can you please help me the priorities? Realistic. Realistic is one. This, that's the T. Then we have got uh, I. Investigative. I. Investigative. That is the. Milk. Okay. Milk. And then and comes the conformity. Conventional. Conventional. Yeah, conventional and okay. social. There is a tie between conventional and social because you, they replicate. So that means, that means it has to be a ginger tea. It is not ginger tea. Okay. It is conventional and social. That's all. Okay. Whether can we add sugar or can we add water or ginger or cardamom? Clear? Okay. Yeah. Conventional or social. But both are actually at par. Correct? Yes. Now the ginger and cardamom substances include what? Enterprising mm, and enterprising, artistic. artistic. Now that means marketing, advertising, entrepreneurship, business management, media and communication, hospitality, travel and tourism, all are directly evicted. Correct? Yes. Yes. Artistic interest also is very low. So arts and language is also evicted. Correct? Yes. Yeah. So five or six carriers we have mass eliminated. From the remaining, we'll have to more go into careers related to realistic and investigative, correct? Yes. Uh -huh. So that what are the compositions that the interest can be on the dominant RIC or RIS? Yes. Okay, both are actually in the equal weightage. Somewhere around 87% weighted average, correct? Hmm. Both are equal. From the assessment results, a student is able to get this. If you take RIC, can be compatible for archaeology. So either they test or go out and bring out the objects, they investigate and find facts about them. That is archiving. Facts. Or it can be a production engineer who is manufacturing with the science connected and also they are organizing the and stagging the produced goods. <coughs> or there is a defect a maintenance guy who is testing, investigating what is the cause for the defect and also telling the fact whether it has to be replaced or it can be repaired. Okay? These are all yeah. for the engineering profiles, correct? Science and engineering. Right. Right. Take RIS, it can go for a dentist, correct? Hmm. It can go for a biomedical engineer also, correct? Correct. Even it can go for a merchant navy also, correct? Yes. Yeah. Now, while well, all these careers are actually suitable for this guy, the student is not able to decide which one to go. He's calling my savior. Please tell me which career I'll have to go. As a counselor, how will you solve this problem? Which one will you recommend? Will you recommend careers related to RIC or RIS? Uh, so RIC. Why? Why not RIS? Justify. Uh, because uh, looking at the interest level, mm. which is pretty high. Why? It is the same also in RIS. C and S are 82 only. Yes. The weighted average is around 87 point decimals. Same. Hmm. <laughs> yes. The reason what you give should be justified. No, this this has to go to uh, the personality traits then. When you have money in your hands, will you actually borrow money from others? No. Then 
there is a money within within that means there is a correlation within interest find out when you are not able to having correlation only you will have to go to personality correct okay r i c real estate i would go with r i s i don't know why <laughs> we can actually realistic we we'll ask our researcher ganesh is doing a lot of research i think i think uh, when we talk about r i c uh, r i c has it is a realistic interest that means they are doers right mm. then while a person is a doer investigate investigating in interest or like thinkers or or what you say mm. it has to be there right mm. Mm. they have to do it need not be there realistic no. with social also can be there in sports public safety where i is not no. important where i is not important but here when when we see the mm. two highest are r and i mm. right okay. so it goes with the conventional thought process why not in social Do you mean to say a biomedical engineer is not actually an appropriate so? What does a biomedical engineer do? I was thinking about that. Huh? Think, think, mm. think, think. So mm. that's what. So he can actually. No, but he can actually. Uh, okay, I have I an answer here. Help us. What I'm, I mean, uh, I would suggest him to go. into ris taking the uh, enterprising nature into i mean his uh, enterprising trade into account where he would be able to influence we are not using ginger or cardamom when we are not allowed we are only uh, see there is only tie between two options i am asking you conventional or social why are you moving to enterprising without breaking this tie hmm it is like offering you don't have a tea rather have a, a you know a precaution correct <clears throat> no but when it comes to the conflict between uh, rac and ris i mean you are asking which one would i recommend oh yeah i am asking because both are adaptable to change isn't it both are yes. in 100% conventional and social both are in 100% they are only 82% each which one will actually if either of them changes you say c and s changes Or yes, and he sees changes. How will <clears> you solve this? Uh, I will go with RIS because uh, if a person is already investigative, then uh, the con conventional, the I mean the conventional or the conformity can go. Can go where? I mean, if he's already in investigative, if he thinks a lot, uh, I think there's no need for it. Like, why will they not? If for a dentist, why will they not go for RIC? Say for a dentist, it is RIS, but for an archaeologist, it is RIC. Or if you take a paleontologist who is actually into the fossil fuel extraction, they are RIC, correct? Uh mm huh. -hmm. They do an extraction. and comes with the fossil fuel derivatives correct it comes from the field of geology or even mineral extractions correct see the reason what you are going to give i will tell you each one of you when you take this as your full time profession you are possible to face such challenges mm uh hmm are you i'm preparing you for the worst scenario because i'm very mutual okay all right can i tell you what is the tie breaker here yes let's be stellar i can't break my head beyond this right so john holland he is actually giving a solution here what he says is the neighborhood interest factors have highest correlation clear okay to every interest there are two neighborhood interest correct mm hmm if you consider realistic interest which are the neighborhood interest investigative and r i c n c yes wait wait slip by step investigative and conventional are neighborhood, neighborhood. interest factor for realistic for mm. investigative artistic and realistic 
for artistic investigative and social social enterprising and artistic enterprising social and conventional conventional enterprising and realistic so they have high level cognition correlation clear and yeah. how do we use this here because we consider the primary interest to be extremely dominant for a primary interest here as in a tie situation tell me which is actually in tie c not i correct mm. the tie is between social and conventional isn't it yeah when you check here realistic interest is the primary interest which is into immediate neighborhood yes mm. is two steps away while c is immediate link mm. Hmm. So it is R I C. Understood the fundamental. So well, your voice is not clear. We cannot. I repeat again. According to John Holland, the neighborhood interest factors have high correlations. Yes. And during tie-breaking situations, tie 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 situations, the tie-breaking approach is finding which is the tie interest or interest in tie which is neighborhood to the primary interest mm -hmm. here which is the primary interest realistic is r is the primary realistic is the primary and then okay. we have and got the tie i interest and then... factors are social and conventional yes so the primary interest which is into immediate proximity conventional the conventional social is two steps away understood <laughs> yes, but when I said that, you asked me uh, to explain, and I didn't know the theory. Ha, that is why I am telling you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let us imagine uh, if it is A instead of S. Ah, I will change that also. Don't worry. If, that's <laughs> your, if that is your, I, I, you know that I am very naughty. Correct. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now, social interest is thirty-four. Artistic interest is eighty-two. Mm. Now, in this case, how will you make the tie is between R I C and R I A? Correct. Yes. How will you break the tie here? We Which will know. be given more importance? That was the theory that the C is nearer. Correct. Because still A is one step away. R is immediate. C is immediate next to R. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So the same theory applies, but now I am extremely going to be mischievous. Do it. Okay, where I am changing yeah. investigative also as ninety-seven. Okay. <laughs> Let there be the bloodbath. Ha. Uh, <laughs> <blood bath. laughs> <laughs> that is maybe the same thing as Uma Gandhi. I was thinking of that. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can recall hey, that. Baba. <laughs> now a perfect tie situation. Correct? <laughs> Even after this, when you continue to say that uh, uh, personality was actually super good? <laughs> Personality is always in the back of my head. It would, it would still be R I C. Uh, why not R I A or I R A? Because, because it, it, it can be I R A, not R I A. R I A. So again, so it uh, has to change here. Yeah, yeah. Now, when R is considered as a primary interest, you will take R I C. R I C. Yes. When you take I as a primary interest, I R A. The remaining two are eluded. Correct. Into second yes. importance. Yes. Now it is actually. In the same career field, the style is there. One is a production or a maintenance guy. Another is a design engineer. Yes. Okay. I have something here. Mm. I mean, why do we only have to consider RIC and IRA? I think like we can also See, come which up is with... the primary interest, ma. No, that's what what I'm coming to say is we can also have I A C. But you know, according to the score, which is standing first? Yes. You go by the score hierarchy, right? Fine. That means the more S's come towards I and R, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. 
Hmm. I get it. All right, all right. Good. Now RIC and IRA in the same career field, different career paths, correct? Yes. So how do we break this tie? Now only we'll have to follow our leader, Neeraj. Bhavati, Bhikshan, Devi, give me borrowing, correct? <laughs> <laughs> but if you go and borrow outside, we will suffer interest, correct? Yes. You will have to go to the spouse mate. For interest, who is the spouse? The one which Ganesh loves, which is always in his back of his mind, personality. <laughs> yes. right? They both are into immediate neighborhood, right? They have to compliment each other. Yes. Clear? Now you will have to go and borrow correlation from personality. Understood? Yes. Very good. Tell me now, which factor in personality is correlating with which factor in interest to break this tech? Oh, mommy. Killer. Right? <laughs> Killer. <laughs> I, I told you it's a bloodbath. <laughs> it's worse than a bloodbath, actually. <laughs> Did you all anticipate a complete that you massacre? Were Yes. Did you all anticipate these kind of elements will be a part of the training? Yes. Now, rather, one question, one more question to you. Yeah. What did you have in breakfast? I had pongal. Wow. <laughs> You're playing pongal with us. <laughs> but okay. now come to the point. I know it's lunch or you're hungry. Uh, okay. You want to finish no. this today or come back tomorrow and have this tie break? So we'll finish it off. Ah, today. We'll finish it off. That's it. That's the yes, spirit. We okay. need to do it. Yeah. So, now I like I will tell you rather than you know keep on uh, elongating. Mm -hmm. I will tell. You. Now what is realistic interest? Do us. Physical activity. Physical. Physical task. activity. Yes. 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 Opposite to realistic is what? Social. Social. What do they enjoy dealing with? Emotions of others. Correct. Mm. Here, one is which is opposite to each other. One is task oriented, another is emotion oriented. Correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me in personality which factor deals with task and emotion? P and F. Huh? P and F. Uh, very Thinker good. and feeler. Correct. So, realistic interest is correlated. With thinking in personality yes. and social interest is correlated with feeling in personality. Correct? Yes. Yes. Both are opposite to each other, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> what is conventional interest working with? Data, facts, and figures. Yes. Organized. Which factor in personality works with data, facts, and figures? Sensing. Very good. Which factor works with being organized, structured, planned, programmed, systematic? Judging. 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 J. So sensing yeah. plus judging is equal to conventional interest. Do you agree? Yes. Yep. Opposite to conventional is what? Artistic. Art. Opposite to sensing is what? Feeling. Opposite to sensing. sensing sorry. Is... sorry. 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 <laughs> Intuition. 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 And opposite to judging? Oh. Perceiving. 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 So, C is equal to S plus J and A is equal to N plus P. Now, in order to influence others, should I have to be alone or among people? Among people. In order to investigate, should you be among people or be alone? Alone. Alone. In order to focus, correct? Yes. So, all the factors of personality and interest are brought forward? Yep. Now, how do we using this? How do we break that tie? If you go and watch the personality of the student is sensing and judging, you give them RIC. Hmm. If the personality is N and P, you give them careers related to IRA. Got the point? Yeah. Mm. Understood. I have only stated a marginal correlation. An absolute correlation is underway. That we will do tomorrow. Okay. 
stand alone doing an unidimensional analysis cannot help how much ever powerful they are you have to know to find the correlation between interest and personality now do you understand why this particular construct is here you can see no there is a rich correlation between interest and personality from holland model and mbti yep yeah. you might have identified this when i was explaining itself that there is very good uh, connect between interest and personality isn't it absolutely was is good brainstorm more than that ha huh? more than that more than that did you all anticipate that this is going to be covered in your training short of but we didn't expect the massacre <laughs> it's a massacre right jal neeraj i think it is a jalian wala bag <laughs> yeah it seems <laughs> like so like that yeah it seems right? like it it's all red, <laughs> all all red. red. yes but, but i think this, uh, this is this has been this has been good correlation i think uh, more we practice about this and uh, it will give us better clarity now correct handling objection is important right yes i am again you pushing me there i am a sales guy i know any sales would not complete without giving four objections so it has to be there that gives you an opportunity to learn yeah all right i am still learning yes i i can i can if i can add something here uh, like when we are talking about objection objection if you don't get an objection then the sales is incomplete you will not sell that's for that's for sure yeah. uh, as for as, all these years you have not been selling no i am not marketing not anyway disguising yourself as you have been selling you are not a selling person you are a marketing product yes but i am not saying selling i am saying any sales will any anything to do and to matter of fact anything you do it will attract objections whatever you do whether it is sales whether it is anything mm. there is an objection mm. even even a mother when cooks the food uh, she she encounters the objections why aloo gobi today why not aloo matar today mm. that happens you know why he is crying this perhaps at his home he is cooking <laughs> i'm sorry i'll i'll show you what i'm doing right now <laughs> hold on <laughs> he's at work actually no oh, sorry he's at work he's at he's work in he's in office oh but i can't see him i'll um, i'll show you right now because i was not i i was saying i had some issues with my uh, laptop so mm -hmm. i'm not able to do that so i'll and connect with the, you of, on this mobile and maybe then you will be able to see me yeah mm -hmm. because i saw him i mean in the beginning of the session i saw him he was yeah, actually yeah yeah i was oh, he, i was there i was there and uh, i was coming he, to office when you saw me i was driving yeah <laughs> So now you can see me. I'm here. <laughs> Where are you? In his cabin. In his cabin. Okay. One stabilizer for him. One small fan above him. Hi. Yeah. Yes. If there's a small fan, then I have a stabilizer for AC, and this is my seat. Good. And this is me. Now I can see you also. <laughs> I'm putting up my specs so that I can see clearly. Hmm. Yes. Anything else? Nothing else. Uh, you you want to see my pantry <laughs> where I'm cooking? <laughs> Maybe you would have finished cooking in the morning only. Yeah. You are very no, responsible. I I think uh, you've caught me on, on the. Um, You've got Correct. me there. I I am a, I am a person who loves to cook. Very good. I do it. That's and my that's stress. And that's why you see that question has come, Ganesh. <laughs> right? See? 
Why no alu gobi today? Why not this today? Right? <laughs> hmm. All right. Right on dot. All right. We'll catch up today, Loon. I hope you had an enjoyable learning today. Khalid. Namaste. Yes, yes. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Ali, Ugandar was missing. Ugandar was missing this part. He would have been highly participative. Yeah. yeah. In fact, uh, Ganesh and uh, Neeraj took a, a lead on them on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an opportunistic. Yeah, oh, yeah. Got the opportunity. Got... Good. To... Okay. We'll we'll connect tomorrow. I think we've uh, had half an hour today. So tomorrow mm -hmm. we'll have a quiz on interest. And also we'll do a two-dimensional analysis and many more areas to cover for tomorrow. I uh, It appears that, you know, we would have uh, one more day extended. We'll just take a call on Friday. I, I don't want to rush explaining you the concepts. All right? Yes, I, 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 I am okay with that. If, <laughs> if we go one more day ahead, that's okay with me. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And please do practice as you trust it that practice makes you more perfect. Uh, you are more collaborative. You're more contributive to each of you. So put it so that whatever you've got, if it is right, ensure. If you're right, I'm going to say you're right. I can review on the WhatsApp group, okay? Yes. Right. But do attempt. If you really want to uh, become a pro here, work on it. Mm -hmm. All right. Wait and see tomorrow. Okay. Bye -bye. Right. I actually have a small question here. Yeah, Ganesh. Uh, okay, actually, it's it's not about. Uh, I mean, this was actually about the assessment uh, which we were actually talking in the beginning of the session. You said like uh, there. I mean, the assessment would be. Uh, we will have this in uh, seven different vernacular languages. So, mm. uh, when we ask the student to take the assessment in his or her language. Mm. In what language will the report be? English. English? Mm. I mean, let's say, for example, if they take up the assessment in Hindi, mm. will the report be in English still? Yes. Okay. I mean, just wanted to know why not in Hindi as well. That you do. You're anyway going to uh, deliver counseling and uh, give a summary of your recommendations. Use right. a translator and do it. Otherwise, if everything system does, they won't come to you. No? Are you okay without counseling services charges to be living? Hard at all. <laughs> ah, see, a capitalizer. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm. Good. Okay. Catch you then. Bye. Sure. We'll get Bye -bye. it more. Thanks. Bye. Bye.